Yo, what is going on, kind of funny best friends? It's your guy, Snowbike Mike, back again with another kind of funny games afternoon stream. It's a lovely Tuesday, and the whole squad is back again to celebrate Prime Day. That's right, we got another awesome sponsored stream. Thanks to our friends over at Prime Gaming to celebrate Prime Day because you know, right now, you can go claim up to 30 plus free games right now, thanks to Prime Gaming and Amazon Prime here on Prime Day. And of course, for July 12th and 13th, the big AAA titles are now available for you to claim, just like Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which Andy Cortez is about to become our shepherd and take us to the great unknown. Andy Cortez, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Mikey. I'm excited to kind of show you this experience because you experienced a bit of part two and part three, but you you have an experience where it all started. And mm -hmm. uh, I think this is like a crazy good deal. Everybody go download this if you have Amazon Prime. Start freeloading up to 30 games right now. A lot of awesome indie titles and, of course, a lot of big AAA titles. Also, Need for Speed Heat is on the list right now. Go out and go racing right now, which I love. My Nick favorite. Scarpino, I know you love Miami. I know you love the 305 Hot Cars, the beach. He loves the movie The Heat. Cool. Likes the heat too. He it's on it, HBO yeah. Max right now. Yeah, yeah. Everyone can go check that out. I wanna I wanna dial this back for a second because you're calling Andy our oh, shepherd, yeah. which I uh -huh. appreciate because uh -huh. it has a dual meaning. Can we get him the shepherd's like that big uh, uh candy cane the thing? Crook, shepherd's, right? the shepherd's yeah, the, crook what, what is that staff? thing? Yeah, shepherd. can we get him one of those? Shepherd's staff. Is that what it's called? Right? I was just gonna ask. I wanna say a crook. What are we calling that? Yeah, what do we call it? It's a crook, right? A a little bow peep. She always uses this like a crook, right? Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh Nick. I like that because I actually heard from an awesome dude, Andy Cortez, that not only is he going to be our shepherd, but you are going to be our shepherd, actually, because today Andy Cortez is going to model our character after you, big dog. So oh, you'll be the one exploring the galaxy, this. my friend. That, that, I mean, let's pump the brakes on that real quick. Oh, wow. Let's, wow. Let's pump the brakes. We're not pump, doing Nick anymore. OK, let's pump the let's pump the brakes. You don't want to break the Internet. The last night I, I well last night I just had a moment <laughs> last night I had a moment of genius and mm -hmm. okay you know sometimes when a um you know think about like Tupac being in hologram form right I do think like about we're that we're a lot. bringing back these these uh, things that we've missed right yes and also while creating a character I was like you know what um I there's there aren't really any beards here database. that could live up to the beard that Nicholas Carpino owns. Mm -hmm. That you but you bought and you own you rented to own. I do. Um, they the most they have, Mike, is just some stubble, unfortunately. Oh, okay, okay. They okay, don't got okay. they don't got the full beard. So then I thought, you know, in the last week and a half, something was robbed of us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And that was yeah. the mustache of yeah. Michael That's Howard. Right. Yes. Say right. goodbye. Um, I had a little mini funeral out in my backyard for it. You did you too. Did. Yeah. One I person says he looks like Nigel Thornberry. Now we all get robbed. Exactly. Like it got me, bro. He got me good. I'm, and you it, know it. it. It's an it's annoying and I'm mad that we were robbed of that. So I thought, what if Mike Howard Please log in could become our life. shepherd? And first off, Mike, what name do you want to go by real quick? I mean Mike Howard, yeah, yeah. Just Let's Mike. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mike Shepherd. Mike Shepherd is good. Why Mike not Shepherd. Snow Bike Shepherd? Snow Bike Shepherd? Snow Bike Shepherd's acceptable. I like that. I mean, you can do your. I'm not. I'm just. You know, I'm just along for the ride. I'm here co piloting Well, Greg Miller, we have. I didn't get introduced. I'm not introduced. Yeah, well, hold up, hold up. I was gonna until I, I was gonna say, why don't we do? Why don't we do 50 seconds tangent. of listening to the menu music? That. We're so good. Nobody cares about what Greg does. It's Prime Day, everybody. Uh, it's Prime Day with Greg Miller. Greg, how are you doing today? I'm great. You got Mike, some fun you? stuff going on throughout the day. What are you doing later today? I'm doing another uh, Amazon Prime stream, man. I'm hopping over there. I'm doing. I have to be a referee. I'm gonna go do some referee wow. work. Where can all the best friends find you on that? What, what channel is that on? So we can tune in and watch. Twitch.tv. You can't miss it. Don't worry about it. Oh, on the big Twitch channel. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm a big homie. deal over here. I right, will have the links for you. It'll be in the okay. chat. Don't Everybody worry. Everybody in chat it. is saying Space Bike Mike. Space Bike Mike. <laughs> That's That's good Spike, that, is good Mike. that is good. That's a good one. Um, Twitch chat. Don't forget you can type an exclamation point Prime Day throughout the stream to go click on the link and go claim up to your 30 Last free name, games Mike. right now. <laughs> It won't work. Yeah, you can't change your last name because you're always called Shepherd in this game. Shepherd. You're always just Shepherd. Whatever but you're shortened it to Space Mike. <laughs> Space Mike? <Yeah. laughs> Great Space unknown. Mike That's good. That's good. Space Mike Shepherd is good. 
I like that. I, I think. Yeah, Mike, I'll be ringing in on Prime Gaming. On Prime Gaming is where Greg Miller will yeah. be. That is twitch.tv slash Prime Gaming later this afternoon slash evening for some of you. Make sure to go tune in and celebrate Prime Day out there. A lot of awesome deals. Uh, I think I'm about to go buy a toothbrush on Prime Day. I, can't I was going to ask, what have you picked up, Mike? What have you? What have uh, you, you know I, what? I've Greg? spent a lot. I've spent a. I've spent a fortune on Prime stuff already. Today. Oh, a fortune, Greg. That's right. what I like hearing. Okay, so Greg, let me tell you right now what's in my card because funny you should ask. I was on there this morning and uh, searching through, and so you know me, Greg. I, I like the dentist. I like my teeth being. You do perfect. love the dentist, which is weird, but it's and really so nice. I love it. You know, I took the boys to go see Drew with a U yesterday down at the tiki bar don't and know his, what that means. his teeth pop so they're so white right that like it t you stop you look right at him and i looked at washburn and jd and i said that's how i want my teeth to be so white that if i open up my mouth everything in your world stops as you look straight into my teeth right there so I'm what's he doing do what's the what's the secret to the white teeth you know what we we couldn't determine what drew's secret Got with it. The U okay. is i Did think you asked him no, I didn't ask him. I think he goes to the dentist, though. You got to you got to do, like, professional stuff. With Drew. Okay. You know okay, I mean? sure, fair. But what fair. I bought was the big Crest mouth guard. Right? Sure. The whitening mouth guard. I bought that. And then I also bought a Sonicare uh, electric toothbrush for fun. So that's what I got in my stash right now. You want to know what I've gotten so far? Tell me what you got. Tell me what you got. I got Holy Marino up here. Well, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you all know, of course, I have something called the Steam Deck. And it's great, like, and it's yeah, a life changer. Yeah. And I'm riding a bunch of planes this month for different things like Comic Con, and uh, of course our Xbox event on Friday down in LA. Mm -hmm. Come hang out with us. Uh, so what I bought was a new power brick for it, right? I got the Anchor 747 power bank. This is the one that can charge it while I play and do all that jazz. Oh. I got 512 gigabyte memory stick for it, right? I got one of those micro SDs and I put that in there, right? And I was like, I'm sitting pretty. What a successful Prime Day. Then Jen hit me up and she's like, Guess what? Our son is too large for everything. Yep. So I had a whole shopping list from her. We got a travel car seat, a travel car seat gate for ba bag checks. We got a travel stroller, a travel stroller bag, a travel wow. stroller organizer, wow. new permanent car seat because this kid's too big, up a cup holder for the car seats, uh, a, swi a little swimmer so he can keep swimming because his butt got bigger and his diapers got bigger, car window shade so he doesn't get burned in it, and then we got him some Converse shoes. I just want to throw out there, Greg, that wow. I don't know because I am not a father, but I'm pretty sure it's a good thing that he's getting bigger. I think that's a good thing. You know what? I just think it's kind of it's kind of messed up that in nine months, everything we bought and we were excited to use, he's now too big for. Because yeah. like when you buy kids stuff for school, right? You get a full school year out of it. You feel accomplished. <laughs> this is we didn't even get a start, full year out of this kid. This is why you got to pick a random neighbor and just start giving them the stuff. Well, we took <laughs> we got a lot of stuff from a random neighbor. But when they did that, they didn't tell us, "Hey, you're gonna have to buy some more stuff later on." Oh yeah, that's why. That's why it always kills me when you see kids that are like dialed in with like really nice stuff. I'm like. That kid's gonna wear those shoes twice and, yeah. and get out of there. Well, that was the thing. Like, you know, Jen, you know, she well, last night we were having the conver conversation about Converse baby shoes, and she's like, "They are expensive," and I'm like, "This, I'm willing to spend the money on." That that this makes I'm sense because to. what you have to do is you have to. You have the to Converse is an iconic Greg yeah, thing, exactly. And and that kid's gonna be repping that brand. They'll, he'll have a probably a brand deal with Converse by the time he's 12, 13. He better if you, if you do it now. He's gonna start paying himself back. I mean, once it's he starts fun. walking, he'll be faster than Andy, just like his dad. And I feel like right there, there's endless marketing opportunities for the fastest parents in the West, or fastest father-son duo in the West. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I respect that 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 clip you put up on uh, uh, on social media. Sure, it looked like you were running sort of like no, like uphill kind of ish. But it, but if you look everything, like if the camera was actually level, you'd be like running completely downhill. That was pretty. Don't cool. try to take it away from me what I did that. there, Nick. All right, cool. I, you get out there, you'd roll both ankles, right? That's what you do. You'd ask for your gi yeah, while you roll oh, around the ground. Wow. All right? You don't know what it's like to be a supreme athlete like me. Be that fast, all right? I'll tell you what. I'm looking for these Prime Day deals. I'm trying to look for an eyeball massager that heats your eyeballs too, <laughs> so that I could just like relax. Is that like, real? I don't know. What we're the real thing. There's a real thing. There's one. There's one right now that's on. A, it's got a Prime Day deal. It's called the Brio IC4. I, I thought he was trying to make a joke. I thought yeah, he was, I know, I thought he was insulting me. No, no, no. I was just saying I'm getting older, and uh, and yeah, I need something that like melts my eyeballs, which is like melts is the stress from my eyeballs. It's sure. A real thing. Okay. Will that ha will that stop me from my eye my you know how I blow out my eyes all the time? Would it help me? So, supposedly, it really helps with eye fatigue. Because that was one of my concerns last night. I was sitting there watching the bear. We watched, finished the bear last night, mm -hmm. and we're watching there. And I had a, a twinge in my eye, and I immediately whipped out my phone. I'm like, did I just blow out my eye right before Xbox in LA? Come hang out. That's kind of funny. com slash Xbox this Friday. Tickets are almost oh. gone. There's only like I think a dozen or something left. Or is it going to be like you know blown out for Comic Con or blown out for the next thing, which I can't get to because I'm not, oh SummerSlam. A lot of things happening. 
No, I think you're. I mean, if you want, you can get one of these. I'll let you know when I get it. But yeah, supposedly, it really I can't out, touch like, my eye, as you know. If you remember from uh, when we tried to do that zombie thing and put the the contacts in my eye, right. I couldn't do it. The makeup lady couldn't do it. So the idea that you have an eye massager, like I assume you have to open your eyelids, put it in there, and these little things go wah 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 in your eyes. No. That doesn't sound no, like something I want. No. So that's that's a real thing. That is a real thing. <laughs> um, but that's that's not. They don't sell that. You have to get that medically done because I've had it. Yeah. Um, no, this just sits over your eyes and it just rubs the, their temples and the, the muscles around your eyes. It doesn't actually hit okay. your eyeball. Okay, so it's not actually a massaging bit, my eyeball. I think there's a little bit of like play on the eyeball, but it's like a light play on the eyeball. Okay. Light tap. Like light tap. Okay. Everyone, close your eyes, light tap. Chat, close your eyes. Like light can tap. we put it on the poll? Space Mike or Space Bike? Hmm. Oh, space Mike Shepard right is now? incredible. Everyone. Someone yeah, else is saying. But Mike's, we don't call Mike Bike. So there you go. You've answered your question. Someone also said Space Leopard Shepherd. <laughs> I do like that as well. This is pretty decent. Should we can we start calling Mike Fire? Can we just call him Fire? Space Fire? I, I think Sunburn is Sunburn. Sunburn, is dude. Sunburn I got Shepherd. Sunburned this week. It's ridiculous. But talking about brand deals, back to where we're at. Of course, it's Prime Day. It's Prime Game. We've teamed up for a fun sponsored stream. Andy Cortez, the poll is now up, and we gotta get to playing this game. Because we got a big, awesome space journey to go on together. And I got to see more of Mass Effect 1. So, of course, leading the poll right now is Space Mike with 53% of the vote. So, Andy Cortez, you are cleared to go on with Space Mike. We're good to go. Looks like Space Mike is the way to go. So, we're going to go with Space Mike. Now, how red can we get his skin? Can we're going to go ahead it? and find out. We're going to find oh, out. Okay, okay. Because that's what I really want to know. Detective. Please We're making profile. Commander Shepard. Confirm Here we go, Mike. What do you want your uh, What do you want your backstory to be? Spacer. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist. You're born and raised on Mindwar. A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and your friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later, or Orthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You Mindwar. escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Scarpino, you and I, we've watched a lot of 80s action movie flicks bro. together, right? Come on, bro. And I see this column list, right? And I think, revenge. People killed my pants. I got to go out and murder them in the space world. Fair or Earthborn. You know, I'm orphaned on the streets. And then I find my way to the military, become the next superhero. You know what I mean? What are you vibing you know, with? I'm, th I'm vibing with Earthborn. Just wrap the OG, you know? Oh, okay. okay. I like that. System. And people go, where are you from? You're like, where do you think I'm from? Earth, right? And people go, oh my God. You have a, like, or what's your area code? And you tell me area code. Like, you know, when people wrap the area code real hard. Yeah. You can, mm -hmm. you can wrap. You have a little tattoo on your neck. Exactly. You can wrap like Terra or Earth, whatever. whatever. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Earthburn is. Earthborn is. is. Earthburn. All right. Are you a soul survivor, a war hero, or ruthless? Because a soul survivor, Mike, you know, people, uh, you know, during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. You survived while all those people around you fell. Now you were alone left to tell the tale. War hero. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. You risk your life to save fellow soldiers and defeated the enemy despite the impossible odds or ruthless. You're just a jerk. Just a Throughout your military career, you have held fast and, and uh, to one basic rule, Mike. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Nick, that reminds me of Sly. So cool. You know what I mean? Like that, that when you give me that vibe, that's what it feels like. But like also there's a song in the background right now, Andy. I don't know if you remember it, but like I'm a soul survivor. Hey, you remember yeah. that song back uh -huh. in the I'm yeah. a survivor. No, 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 I, I, no I don't think that's uh -huh. the one. I, where was that song from, Andy Cortez? Do you remember that? I don't remember. That was I in some remember. video game. Who was that? Was that Young Jock? Young Jeezy? I think that was Young Jeezy. With let's go with, let's go with ruthless let's go with ruthless let's go with ruthless. yep you get oh, the job done ruthless. that's the guy that like you gotta lock in you get you're the one that's like when we need 
We need a last second shot. I'm looking to, to Mike Howard, to Space yeah. Mike Howard. Yeah. You got it. Uh, Chad has come in. That's a that's an Akon and Young Jeezy joint. Yeah, there okay. it is. Pretty sure it's Destiny's no. Child or just Beyonce. And since Maybe. I'm the one playing, I'm going with Vanguard because it's the most fun to play. Oh, okay. Good call. So you didn't even call. get to pick. Mm -hmm. Sniper Andy, rifles. I'm going to give you a compliment Confirm. real quick because I, I, wow. I, the first screen I heard you, I saw you reading off of things and then you went super casual. You're like, you know, Mike, uh, Earthborn is yada, yada, yada. And you started talking. I thought you were doing that off the top of your head. I was like, yeah, he's <laughs> really well spoken. He knows a wow. lot about this game. Then really I looked down. Good. No, he doesn't really know anything. The script, so. um, as we all know, these don't work, but I did some prep work last night, everybody. And we got Space Mike Howard right oh, here. Oh, nice. My nice. We got Space Mike Somebody Mike just jumped Howard. on it early? Ready oh, to wow. go, baby. We'd be here this entire stream building the yep. face if he didn't get on it ahead of time. Exactly. Great job, Gosh. Andy Cortez. Exactly. I tried, ready to rock. I tried looking for a more red uh, skin tone. Um, there, no, aren't a whole lot, there aren't this a looks... whole lot of options. It's the hair, really, that had me the most kind of like... Do I want to go for the more saturated red look? But mine no, kind of has like good. a a desaturated kind of red blonde, you yeah. know? It's like great. Um, it's, like, it's like Tim's blonde blonde. Yeah. Tim's so, so blonde, yeah. And then facial hair, I went with this option. I feel like it's probably the best one. I like the facial hair to be a little almost transparent. Where you're yeah, like, is that's that a kinda, shadow that, or is that facial yeah. hair? Yeah, yeah, that's kind oh, of wow, what I wow. It. Is that what it looked like, Nick? See, that's what I'm That's why we shaved it, Nick. <laughs> no, that's what it looks because like right now. Out, it looks a little transparent. No, I mean, I'm walking around with a mustache. That doesn't look right. Also, can we talk for a second, really quick? No, we're comp we're, we're saying, saying what it you looks look like bad right now. now. You look. I you listened to Nigel mustache. Thornberry comments, and you said, you know what? <laughs> right now, it looks like someone rubbed your face in a little bit of dirt. Yeah, like, let me let me take you on a little. This walk. kid ate Oreos okay. like, ah, you know what I mean, and then he came up to talk to us. <laughs> so there I was. We were walking the streets after the big concert, and this guy walked by. Everybody's got the mustache because of Top Gun, right? It's the hot thing. Yeah, and like, sure. I looked at this one guy's mustache, and I was like, that's a killer mustache. I looked at him. And then it's so awkward to tell somebody, hey, you got a rocking mustache, right? Yeah. It just doesn't feel right it coming out. Nah, yeah. And like, you want to give the dude a compliment because he's- You say, I like your shoes, game. I like your t-shirt. Exactly, yeah. but like, you, you're like, I looked at him eye to eye. I go, hey, you got a dope mustache. And the guy looked at me like it was weird saying that. And it felt weird saying that. So I don't, yeah. that's why I can't go back to the- So mustache. I'll give you, you another one. I'll give you another weird weird one right here, right? Mustache. What happened to me was uh, right before uh, the Nick Scarpino's comedy show, Cobb's Comedy on Sunday, where he had an opener, Ron Funches, uh, myself and Tim took our ladies on a double date. All right. Mm -hmm. We went over to Original Joe's. We were having a lovely meal there, a couple of cocktails, getting ready to laugh, you know, Mike, as one does. And the waiter or the guy who kept coming over and pouring water, he wasn't our waiter, but he kept pouring water. He had this dope hand tattoo that went all the way in like up his sleeve. I couldn't see, oh. you know what I mean? But it was there. Okay. And so he was pouring water on like his third one and I'm like two or three martinis in. And I said, you probably get this all the time, but that's awesome. And Mike, the dude's pouring, and I pointed at the hand, right? The dude's pouring the water and he looks at me and he goes, the water? Uh, and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> the tattoo on your hand. Like, I, he's like, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. He thought I was just complimenting the water being uh, awesome. He's like, I got to uh, cut this guy off. <laughs> And Andy, I like this tone right here because what this says is I was out in the sun for approximately five minutes and got <laughs> wicked sunburned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wicked yeah. sunburned. It got him all But right. when you're up in space, you're close to the sun. You know what I mean? That's what yeah, I have to say. Yeah, it's true. You know? It's true. You yeah, go this up one's to the too window, ghostly bang. and pale. Yeah, it's too ghost. That looks like he died 12 minutes ago. We're There's trying to yeah. resuscitate, but it's not looking good. There's so what, how too, I look normally. There's way too much lavender saying. in here. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's too pale. It's too pale. Yeah. Now, Mike, um, I do. I want to be clear. I want to be clear. Mm -hmm. You look great right now. This look is no, good. I do it's a good not. look. Nick, but I, I just miss. Right I miss the mustache. I miss the mustache. What's wrong with you? Half of my head is sunburned because I wore a baseball cap. You don't see this line right here? No, uh, you're on a small square thing. Oh my I'll god, Nick, I am so sunburned. It's not good, bro. Well, oh, I meant your good. facial hair looks good. I don't know the rest. Oh, of you, the stubble. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to low key get you to to get that mustache back because <laughs> I feel like here's the problem though. If you had a mustache and you had compl complimented the guy's mustache, he would have immediately known you were at the me club. Up. You would have dabbed me up yeah. because uh -huh. this happens to me all the time. I see dudes with great beards and I go, bro. And he goes, I know. He's like, you too. And I was like, I know. I know, bro. That's so cool. And that's it. We just thought we just could, like, club. one second, like, hit it. Like, it's a little club, like a, a little biker. Do you club. do that to Greg all the time? 
profile reconstruction. To Greggy? I did when Greg let the beard get a little bit mm. big, but now he's got he's got a kid. He's got responsibilities. He can't be going out there mm. looking like looking like this trash fire that I got on my face. You look pretty badass right here, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love oh, it. I, I think it looks great. Oh, yeah. Greg, you do look no, badass. No, it's too late. He didn't mean oh, me. Yeah. He didn't mean me. Oh, no, yeah. I was he means you all the time. He talks about you all the time, saying nice yeah. things. And not positive this is things. incredible. You haven't knocked something out of the park this well uh, since that one time you made me really, really small in that golf game. In the golf game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. In what the a golf game. Okay. I also made you in The Sims. I was just saying, you're not going to bring up then. The Sims? And he did yeah, an incredible was... job with you in The Sims? That's one of the more, more underrated streams we've done that, like, we need the to Sims put more was... attention on. We yeah. got to do that again. That was uh, so That was fun. a good stream. You did stream. a great job. All right, uh, I, made, I think I'm... we're ready to start this adventure, everybody. All right, y'all get ready. Right. Remember, you can start freeloading up to 30 plus free games right now, thanks to Amazon Prime and Prime Gaming, because it's Prime Day. So go out there, you can type an exclamation point Prime Day anytime throughout the stream. Use our link, and you can start claiming up to 30 free games, like big AAA games, like Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Need for Speed Heat, and so much more right now, y'all. Andy, take us away. Here we go. Now, a lot. Some people in chat ask why Mass Effect One, and not Mass Effect Two. Mike has never experienced Mass Effect One. He's played uh, some what? of Part oh, Two really, and Nick? Three. I thought you had. Oh, played, get ready played, for I... the. Oh my gosh, get ready for the best intro. We need like all all comms cleared comms, right here. Comms. All right. Okay. Get oh, it never mind. Now, Hold on, we gotta do this first. Let's see. Now, everybody <laughs> knows I like jumping into the sequels, Nick. You know what I mean? Jurassic Dude, that's Part what I... Two, Jurassic World Two. That's where I started off. I played, I got into it in, on two, and I loved two, and I played three a little bit too. But everyone's like, you should go back and play one. I'm like, nope, I already know how it ends. But now I'm excited for this. Here we go. This is the coolest intro, dude. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He got most of his unit killed. Space Mike? He gets the him, job dude. done. No matter what the cost. Is that Keith David? Is that the kind yes. of person we want right. protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Mike, you're so cool. Space Mike. Cool. Look it at this. It feels like Top Gun Look right at now. This, the music dude. is building too? Andy, read it off. Yeah, they called it, it's too fast. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it. No, they're oh, not. Top Gun. They're yes, not they doing do. it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Okay, that's actually really cool. That's it's actually the really cool. It's the coolest shit of all time. I'm surprised. I was going to say old game's old, but no. This no. game is dope. Yeah, in the year 2041, uh, 2148. They discovered some dope shit. Just understand that, chat. <laughs> the game, the aesthetic of this game is just always so cool. So Just that deep sci-fi. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. God, this is so hype, dude. All stations secure for transit. Is it the Normandy in this one, or is that just the second one? Yeah, it's a Normandy. It's a Normandy. Don't worry about it. Don't spoil. No spoils. Oh, there look at this, everybody. Stash. Mike. Badass. Stash is pretty dope. Okay, I might be back on board for the stash. Get God. the stash back. He just, like, stared off at it, too. It was so yeah. dope looking. So good. Check navigation. Check internal emission oh sinking gauge. Greens in this. All systems Joker. online. Drift. Just under fifteen hundred k. Fifteen hundred is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So uh, you hate Andy? him. What's up? Looks like we're having Remember some connection issues between us. Out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us okay. halfway across the you galaxy. You just double check your bit rate. Size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, Spectre's too low or too high? I don't like having him on board. Where are you at? Call me paranoid. I'm at 30. You're paranoid. Okay. 
The oh yeah, way too high. Uh, let's drop it down to 15. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Damn. I don't believe the official story, Mike. You never do, Nick. You know better than that. We've watched so many movies together. You know better than that. They told me, they told when you when you came on, they told me we'd never be friends. That was the official <laughs> story. What do you that want, was, Mike? What do you want? Yeah, it, it, I can't it, see it, Andy, so you pick whatever. It goes. <laughs> I agree. Um, You're overreacting. Oh, it's coming in out. Or cut the chatter. You're, cut the chatter. We're the badass. Cut the chatter. Cut the chatter, That's fools. Cut the chatter. Your soldiers, act like it. I want you I'm to sorry. sit in silence <laughs> for the next <laughs> two hours. <laughs> Don't fucking speak to each other. Don't talk to each other. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? You made him mad. I heard. Oh, no. I heard for him. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. God, look at the look at this shepherd. Look at, this. Look at Mikey look ready at to go shepherd, run the Norman. Dude. Mike, you're a hot potato, man. I'm just gonna say it right dude, now. Dude, y'all are pumping me up I'm, enough. I'm you're making me blush today. I might have to I'm gonna get the mustache back. Good. Look at how yeah, yeah, we did it, a little everybody. Bit more. Round of applause. We made it yeah. happen. Top gun. A life. Top gun. <laughs> Real quick, this is a prime day stream, right? We're talking about prime gaming. Yes, We're talking is. about freeloading this game. You can go play Mass Effect for free right now. Get the Definitive Edition. Have some fun. I want to toss out there another thing that's happening. So it's Prime Day. We already ran through all the deals I'm getting. You might say, I don't need anything, Greg. Our friend and Barrett's wife, Alyssa, needs help. She's a teacher in San Francisco. She has put up an Amazon wish list if you want to help staff her classroom. You want to actually get things in there and help the kids that's and funny. help out Barrett's wife. I made a link, kindoffunny.com slash room202. She's got a wish list up for room 202. If y'all want to go buy some markers, you want to go buy some stuff, help her out. Remember, of course, we are in America. A couple and of our schools books. are dramatically underfunded for no reason, and we need to take care of teachers. And you know a teacher. You have a personal connection to this teacher, so why not use Amazon Prime for something good today? Uh, the, their Day room and, also needs a 65-inch OLED. No, that's your room. If you, you want to, Andy, if you want to make the Andy <laughs> room 206 <laughs> list, you can put it in there. Sure. Uh oh. I like the con for the con slash four no room four no eight. Or if you go to it, something scary will happen. I don't know that though. Wait, yeah. That's a Stephen King reference. Oh. Um, oh, sorry. okay, okay. Sorry guys, it was a dumb joke. That's Everyone cool. go go do two oh two. That's the better thing. <laughs> better use your time. <laughs> better use your time. Uh oh. What did I do? Oh, I Maybe opened up the command to... prompt on the bottom left. <laughs> you forgot to invert your control. Pointing his gun at the crew right now. Just let him know. <laughs> Work harder! Why are you why are we flying faster through space right now? <laughs> What's incredible is that this crew's not reacting to it because apparently this shepherd just does this all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I forgot it's the H button to holster my weapon. Yeah, a cool space laser and don't think I'm gonna just throw it around all the time. Andy, I don't think I played as Vanguard when I played. What are the Vanguard's attributes again? Vanguard is the best, the coolest way to play because it's oh. guns and it's force powers. And it's force powers. Okay, first. that might be what I did then. Give us a chance to talk. Maybe, that, maybe that is what I did. Mike, you look so cool with ice. Oh, yeah, he's letting this guy know. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Um, I wouldn't know. What? Well, I wouldn't I've know. Never been there, but you know of it. <laughs> it's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies oh, across the galaxy track. but also protect them. It's like but how safe is it really? Yes. It what's does your point? Like what's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are. You guys going to be just me the entire time? The I love it. Be a very dangerous place. Is the alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. What do you think, Mike? What do you think? That's, That's obvious. obvious. Yeah, yeah, come that's on, That's so Mike. obvious. Especially with this guy's dude right now. We're making dude. A covert Don't give me your dude. <laughs> that's why we needed the stealth systems operational. You should have told me. Hmm? All right, oh, yeah, exactly. You knew it. I knew that was going there. This comes down to the go on. 
Oh, fair. The information is strictly on the need to know basis. <laughs> a research someone can find unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy you thought still wrong. remains. The mass uh -oh. relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It looks like they fixed Commander Anderson's, uh, like, skin sheen. When the game came out, it looked like his... I hope they fix it. When the game came out, uh, this Legendary Edition, it looked like Commander Anderson, or uh, Captain Anderson's skin was made out of, like, aluminum <laughs> like oh. it had such a weird reflective property to it are you I talking about the of... first mass effect or this the, the, no the this definitive one. edition this defend this, this legendary edition yeah. legendary my apologies let's see um also mike are you watching the discord or the or the twitch i'm watching the discord oh, okay yeah we just at the beginning it was all breaking up of course with you know everything you sound worried now here's a question. Olson one seven four one four seven seven in the chat says, "Greg, can you call Keith David and ask if yeah. he remembers voice acting this?" Wow. I do not have Keith David's number. Oh but man. If That's you guys so want to do the research and find out who, like, we start doing Kevin Bacon degrees removed, maybe we make that happen by the end oh, of the stream. Oh, you got it. Like, oh, Nolan North and him are friends. They talk all the time. There you go. Oh man. my god. Dude, you gosh. know that Keith David still goes to like signings. And Mass Effect. freaking like yeah, for Mass Effects, I like. I'm sure he gets a lot of Captain Anderson stuff. Oh, great joke from Lyric in chat says it's Eden Prime Day. Wow, that's that really good. Eden Prime Day, we missed that. Prime that Day, was everybody. Came up to 30 free games. Always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Keith David might be Nihilism one of like. He's a great actor. Don't get me wrong, and I always love seeing him and everything. But as far as voices are concerned, top five. Iconic. Top five. Freaking iconic, dude. Top five. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Yeah, like Why? hell he is. Like hell oh, he is. damn, I should have picked it. <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business. You got the job, job done, Mike. Done. That's why I put your name. Let him know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get it done, Mike. You put my name forward. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. Team Mike, you I got the care job that done. You're human now you get shepherd. to be super cool. I only care that you can do the job. What do you think, Mike? What if I refuse? What's the next step? Tell what if I refuse? What if I don't want to do this? I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. Thank you, We're David. I told you to shut the ass up. I need to see up. your skills for myself. <laughs> Eden Prime will be the <laughs> Just said stuff your sorries in a sock, <laughs> You'll be in charge of the ground team. <laughs> Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a nah, my, this isn't like Mike. Mike doesn't want research. Yeah, we don't know. Mike does not. He would be just planning. Where do I go? No. Tell me Mike who to shoot. Mike would already be halfway across the map. Like, like, where's Mike? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm getting the hell Or he'd be like, oh, Mike's not showing up. <laughs> Mike's not here. Um, Mike didn't know so much about these Let's Play kids. Hey, I want you to know Mike's I'm feeling like, really good for Friday. You know what I mean? I'm feeling really great. That's what I think. That's what I think. Really you know. Mike's really going to be in LA. You could be too. Kindofunny.com slash Xbox. But everyone agrees. We going full renegade on this run? No, I think we're just gonna yeah, like we're gonna be assertive and we society. need to be. And without their mass you know, you gotta go full we get the job right? done. We all owe sure. We're like a we're like a mean coach. Why is this mm. so mm. We mm. want like the best yeah. for you. Yeah, it's good for you. Is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. 
wrong hand. Man, I want to play this game. Like who? The Andy, pause it. Let me play. Dude, this is. I'm telling you, Nick. This is. Plenty of raiders and criminal groups. I love the second one. Some of the best sci-fi ever, if not the best. Like my favorite sci-fi for sure. Seven. You for a bastard. Right on the border of the terminus systems. So I remember you being obsessed with two alongside me, Nick. Did you play three? I started three. I okay. fell out of it for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. I think it was just back then. I was like, I don't want. The, I don't want a game this long. I want to get into something different. Bring it up on screen. Because two took me a long time to get. Yeah, you had a lot. I remember that you were on that one for a long time. And it's crazy, like you were. You think you remembered the game looking like this? And when you go back and look at how it used to look, it did not yeah. look like this. this looks the like Legendary this looks Edition like made a lot of enhancements. Really? Oh yeah. Did they now? With, was the control? Are the controls the same? They, they updated them for PC. PC. Okay, I was gonna say I remember two getting a big update with controlling how the character controlled. They updated uh, part one to be a lot more like two and three, because two part one had the most archaic of the systems. Yeah. Cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 Status. minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the car. <laughs> Mike looks like a badass. He dude. does look good with mustache. <laughs> uh, you see, and you know he means business. It's just Mike. We look. We look to you to be our leader. Yeah, that's true. Mike. You can't have. You can't be a leader without facial hair in this company. Uh, you just can't do it. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, I look at you three. You know what I mean? Look at you three. I go. Varying degrees of awesome. All three of you. Longer the beard. Somebody was the doing some serious digging, Captain. <laughs> Your I'll take that. I'll accept that. <laughs> Go in look at you. You don't look so great in the helmet, but it's, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> That's <laughs> all about that. It's so incredible. The beacons are oh. priority. Approaching drop point one. I mean, you're very distinctive. You're we can us? tell which one's you. I move faster on my own. What? Is he the same? Ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. A little racist, but you know. Oh wow! Wow. And he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Badass. Good luck. Point two. I didn't know. Uh, to be to be honest, sir, I didn't know Shepard was gonna go like with the the whole like. I didn't know if I could trust a Turian thing. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna be like, can we trust this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was going to seal him at. Oh, also, I'm running a PC mod that changes the FOV. Oh, okay. Oh, so you nice. see more around. Um, I do the what standard do do FOV on this game is 70, and uh, we're running at 90 right now. Good for you. Fill that thing. Oh, the most, the, the those things had blood. Oh, those yeah, blood? It's a little what click in. Uh, they're just, you know, life here on this planet. It's no big deal. Plenty of it. Pretty hold up. I just love whenever anything is color coordinated. When you get to be like the red guy, and then this guy's over there. It's so the badass. I love that too. Nick. Dark gray guy. Yeah. Power Rangers. It's so cool. You gotta really give him credit. You know That's that like, that N7 logo is timeless. It sure so, is, Mike. You're so oh, right. Wow. Your dude got that dude just get fried. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, he might have got cooked up a little bit. He's all right. He'll shake that off. I think it's. I think it's. Swine this is war, out. guys. Be ready for anything out there. And I want you to force push one of these things. Uh, I don't know if, how, if I have my force push. Oh, he's yet. definitely dead. Oh, he's you're dead. right, Greg. He's dead. Oh wow, guys, it can go that quickly here in a moment. It, it, <laughs> it can go that quickly, guys. <laughs> Wait, but it says like investigate. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to shoot your dead body. What? No, you Andy. Hold on, <laughs> I forgot the. I now forgot you're the, gonna go to jail for it. You're gonna go to space like, jail when they go, they run those space they, bullets on. They all. That you have to call his fat. How did he die? Um, <laughs> well, he was dead, but I accidentally shot him when I was trying to look at him. Uh, but we did it, but he was for sure. I need an investigation. I blew a hole in his chest. 
Let's see. What's, what's like it? What's like uh, interact? I forgot what interact is. F. It should be F, right? It usually is. Oh, he's Use his left shift. Keyboard, Use his left oh, shift. Use there we go. Left shift. Get that off there. Close his eyes, Mike. It makes everything better if you just close my eyes. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. Jeez, ruthless, man. Mike. Dallas. Ruthless. Die. People die. That's what Greg literally just said to us too. So yeah. Here's one thing I do want to do real quick. I want to go to, uh, isn't there, there's an option to like take the helmet off, right? In cutscenes, I think. But he's going to be just out in the middle of the battlefield. No yeah, like off? you, you're wearing a helmet, but you just have the helmet off visibly. It looks cooler that way. It, it's one of those things, Mike, where it goes like, do you want people to know who's coming for them? Because I do. Because <laughs> throughout the galaxy, you're going to be known as Big Red. That's yeah, what they're gonna start. Calling they are gonna call you that. Red. Okay, okay. Red. Yeah. Oh, the helmet is still on in planets and stuff. Oh, okay, gotcha. Dope. That's dope. Yeah, I could have sworn yeah, there was you, a way you don't want to die out there. Oh, I guess yeah, I think the when helmet you go to the comes Citadel, off. You take it off and stuff like that. The helmet comes off in uh, other. Oh, people said maybe inventory. That will always be Andrew Renee's. Big red. Big red. Yeah, I remember we'll when we were in the we'll helicopter and she sniped that guy out from a mile and a half Unbelievable. away. Unbelievable. Pinned him to the. Yeah. <laughs> we all lost our building. minds. She Unbelievable. Oh, it's under character people. Oh, toggle helmet. There we go. There you go. Get that off there, dude. I need to oh. see the stats. Mike doesn't oh, need a helmet. Mike doesn't need protection. Oh, he has no helmet. There we go. Oh, yeah, no Look at yeah, that. Even Prime, hammer. you're fine. I mean, if you catch one to the dome, you're going down regardless. No yeah, matter. a little domey. My favorite thing is like Mike's hair right now looks a little like John Hams from Mad Men, which is always perfect. Never disheveled, even after Quintus. Oh, Quintus. I'm not so proud of buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm oh. gonna check it out. Oh, I forgot to put like a like, like, uh, comm system on his hand. Yeah, it's a little, uh. What's it called? Damn, dude, you are Mo laser, an Omni dude. tool. Yeah, the Omni tool. Greg, can you call me your Omni tool occasionally? <laughs> Oh, I'm happy. I'd happy prefer if you didn't do that. Actually, <laughs> this, is a, this is a sponsored stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you are lasering with this pistol, eh? Uh oh, uh oh, who's this? Friend or foe? Man, this scene looks so much better here <laughs> than it did in the first. Well, the first How old is this out, game? What, like... Yeah, once the first one came out. First one came out in 06. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think. Long, 07, 06. Oh no! Put him on the spike. November 20th, 2007. Mm. Wow. That's an old game, Mike. That's almost 50 years old. Unbelievable. It's almost 50 years old. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, I said. Math on the fly is my is the scariest I've ever been. A little shoddy Bugatti, a little shoddy oh, Bugatti. Put that, through, put that through, put that through. Oh, nice, dude. There you go, there you go. The Scorpion. Look Remember at these robot Bell, people. Daggers. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams Dag of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? We're on a mission. I need to stay Williams, we're busy. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communication. Man, I want to play this I've game. I've been fighting for my life since. You can claim it right now through Where's Prime Gaming. Your squad. We tried to double back to the beacon, job, Greg. but we walked into an ambush. I don't think this is just one of those games that if you have not played, you, you should be ashamed left. of yourself. You should play this game. It's like, mm. it's wow. so popular and so iconic. Yeah, it's like this and playing at least. Metal Any Gear idea Solid what five. kind of enemy we're facing? Oh, five. Okay. I think the Geth haven't been seen That's outside when you play the right, Mike. nearly 200 years. I love five. <laughs> That's one of the years this is hunters. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming Take with us, there. Williams. We need that beacon. Take us there. Aye, aye, sir. There's nothing cooler in this story when they're like, such and such event hasn't happened in 300 years. There's no way that's going on. Like it's the, it's just one of my favorite hooks, Nick. I love that. It makes you feel special. Right You're now. like, that's because you know of me. The Things happen just when I'm around. Yeah. Class back in school, they're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming. It's the Geth. by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor. The Geth. Ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. 
after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the. Andy, where are we come down? You like Ashley? Nobody's really heard much. No, hell no. <laughs> just making sure. I want to make sure you have the right answer. Nobody, Nobody likes right answer. Ashley, dude. What? Racist. This space with racist. Me and, me and Nick don't know about Ashley. What's up? Yeah, with Ashley's with Ashley? the most space racist of them all. Oh, oh I don't like space uh, racists. Like uh, that, that uh, earlier when I was like, can we trust a Tyrion? Ashley's like that with anybody who's not a human. Anybody who's not a human. Suddenly, every scientific. I don't know much about the beacon itself. But I heard Why does she sound like Mila Kunis? To be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. You're, it kind of, you're right. It kind of does sound like Mila Kunis. I actually saw Mila Kunis on a recent episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Really? From the most recent episode. Oh, oh. Funny. I don't know. In the Spite Store. When they're doing the Spite Store. The oh, the Spite the Store. <laughs> Maybe That's you so funny. Than mine. Have you seen a Turian? The, the, the one where he makes the coffee shop right next to Mocha Joe's. Yeah. Yes. Mocha Joe. <laughs> I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. Have you saw this? Oh, where's your gun, Caden? Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Look at this guy. That's like we don't trust him with a gun, so he has to just pretend Sorry. like he has a gun. The entire time. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Your little cousin gets the controller <laughs> that yeah, isn't plugged yeah. in. They're like, oh, good for you. Now you got the squad. So Press it's escape. It. Let's go. Let's go level up our squad. So I always leave auto level up for the other homies. Oh no, no actually. Hold on, let's do assault rifles, and then we'll do armor. And then for Caden, we'll do decryption and barrier. Space right, Mike Shepard. I love that it says it right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there. Keeping it safe. might be my favorite thing we've ever done. Uh, I mean, you and Darth Maul was pretty great. That's fair. Mike, we got to get you these shoulders, Brody. We got to keep getting you to the gym. This guy looks good. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. Approaching a new object. Oh, left control is crouch. I forgot. Oh, a little sniper action. <laughs> oh, right in the head. Look at this. Cover. Take that, Prothean. Are these Protheans? No, these are these are <laughs> Geth. Oh, these are Geth. Okay. The Protheans are the. Those like that's the ancient clan. Yeah, they're the them. ancient ones. That... Which one's Gareth? Is Gareth a Prothean? Gareth is a Turian. Okay. Cool. Much like Nihilus, the dude that we just saw running That's right, right now. Right. Gareth? Gareth, Gareth? not Gareth. 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 Like Gareth Mr. Gareth Garrison, but totally different. Totally different. Mm -hmm. Gareth, but I appreciate you trying. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Caden, Maybe we'll know more don't after talk unless spoken to. <laughs> you think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small... Nihilus, where the hell are you? I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I'm Commander Shepard. Where the hell are you at? Looks That's a good Commander Shepard. Thank you. Where do they get these spikes from? Have a good look. They made them, man. Spiked up. The, the geth, the geth do this to the humans, Nick. They put the spikes down. Oh god, they're still They alive. impale the humans, and then the humans slowly turn into synthetic life forms. Oh. Husks. Do you think at one point someone's like, "Hey, Andy, did you bring the spikes?" Ah, oh, damn it! Dude. Were they on the <laughs> ship? I gotta go back to the ship. All right, keep these humans alive a little bit. <laughs> Like, I left them there for you. It's like below deck, when people forget to bring the champagne to the beach. It's like, oh no. I have no reference for that, Nick, but. You know, I don't think anyone does. I just threw it out there for the one person in the chat that wanted to humor me. Okay. Oh, manual override. Here we go. Here we go. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Oh Boop. wow, Greg! Look at this God, lock hacker, system. hacker, dude. Yeah. Do you have to make? You want to like talk? You want to talk crap about that too, Mike? You want to talk like, crap? No, about I, that? I yeah, I was gonna say I like that. Right? Innovative, different. I enjoy Boop. that. Boop. Innovative. This game's how old? <laughs> Innovative. It's still ahead of its time. Yeah. What are you doing here? I you just I'm spin a dial two different directions. Thanks, Starving Dogs. Starving, Starving Dogs got it in the chat. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved oh, to the you space the earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. 
The age of humanity is ended. Soon, this only guy. ruin and corpses will <laughs> we, we, we don't need to deal with that guy. Bro, get him bro, bro, behind. Bro. With your Manuel has a <laughs> What's wrong with your assistant? <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? He's very cold Why and this guy freaking out. <laughs> this guy sucks. The destruction rushing towards us. hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> that was so aggressive. That's exactly what I wanted in that moment. Like, get this guy off, man. I gave him an extra dose of his meds. I can shut him up. <laughs> No, do we it. can't do, do that. It. This guy's, do it. This guy's on medication, it. man. Mike, do it. <laughs> I'm Mike, back call into it. reality. Shut him up. Shut him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with Say good night, Manuel. the truth. My voice must be heard. Boosh. Oh, we have chosen a path we can't confirm. You can't come back with that. You can't come back with that. Let's have some He's fun, better guys. off. Tell me he's better off. He's better off. He's all right. Night, night. Night, night. I think that guy actually gives us, like, stuff. Yeah, we don't need this stuff. Not anymore, yeah. He's giving us his teeth. It was, it was now a sweet good night. Investigate oh. his dead body now. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, th these people definitely give you stuff. I remember. Well, <laughs> you're gonna have to take it from a good now, night, guys. Manuel. <laughs> I did not think he was gonna to prepare. I did not think he was gonna belt the guy. I didn't think he was gonna say good night. <laughs> it's like a one-liner. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, dude, he didn't even pull it either. <laughs> he took a right hook to that guy. Oh, Nihilus, what the hell are you up to, big dong? This guy, this character design is dope. Hey, he looks really good. Sarah. Do you think those suits have air conditioning? Have to. At least fans. Maybe not air conditioning, but they suck the air out really quick. Yeah. Oh, oh snap. Shit. Are they about to become homies? This isn't your mission, oh, no, Sarah. buddy. Oh, no, what buddy. That's not here? what's about to happen. The council thought you could use some help on this one. He's about to, he's about to kill you, bro. bro. Don't trust this guy. Here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got Don't worry. control. Oh, no. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye, Anderson. Good night. <laughs> what is his name? What is Nihilus. Nihilus. I mean, we are Nihilus. We believe in nothing. Oh, dude. Look at it. Get low, Andy. How much are you like telling your peeps what to do here, Andy? Uh, I would do that on like harder difficulties. But on this one, you just let them fight. I think they now they deserve it for being poor soldiers. Yeah, they should have known. I can't believe you just belted that guy. This game's a guy had to come off. <laughs> sure did, dude. I like the rationale. Eventually, that guy was gonna do something crazy. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know, man. It's possible. Anything's possible. Anyone can cook. Anything can happen. Anybody can cook. Manual. Boop, boop, beep, boop, bop. Everybody stay calm out there. So, wait, that's how you cack? Coming you just gotta out, play Frogger? Yeah, and then they get more difficult gone? later on. I'm gonna stop right there. We can't trust these people. Stop right there. Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. I just built it somewhere <laughs> back there. Yeah, exactly. Talking. We're we're cranked up to eleven right now. So, <laughs> we're just so cranked. You know. We're so cranked. Just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look. Oh, these are the ones that give you stuff. Thank you, Brutal. Well, they're gonna the they're gonna get something. That awful noise. Listen, two it's of you are getting a free ride home. One of you is getting a belting. One of you is getting the backside of my hand. It was probably trying to block communications. Mike, if I Whatever saw was, you looking like this, right through my skull. I would hate you at first. You respect just, but knowing that I was going to eventually love and respect you. We're just farmers. <laughs> we heard they found something out there, but it never really I was like, I hate this guy. I hate this guy. You know, Nick, I'll be damned October's, if I don't him. October's right around the corner. It's time for, you know, the four of us here plus Kevin start thinking about Halloween outfits. You know what I mean? What, what are we all dressed as? They were by the Oh, the just Tom Cruise. Right Here's okay. what we'll do. All of us go as pilots. You don't know that. We and then survived. Greg and Kevin go as the planes. The garage, and we have to ride them. A I want you to know how in I am. <laughs> All right? <laughs> <laughs> I am 1,000% in. They're flying to be a plane Jeez, there, yeah. Like, you gotta learn when to shut up. 
you should do that if with Ben. You should be the play it and just have him be like Some in the cockpit of your chest. Some guys at the space were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. No, no, that's crime. Oh, cool. Yeah. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's call. in the packages. T minus five. Something we could use. Four. I found a three. Pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Give it to me. This should help. Let's move on. Give me the gun you smuggled. <laughs> Give it to me. Good luck. I'm gonna leave you defenseless with the geth here. <laughs> I only have four weapons. <laughs> I would give me all four of them. Oh, okay. I forgot how to do like the powers. I don't think you have them yet, do you? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I sure do. Oh, you oh we're about to see, baby. Oh, she would force push someone through the roof. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I want to. You're a coward. <laughs> what are you doing sneaking around back there? I'm sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. I just told you. The other one got <laughs> I just first. said. He was just waiting said. when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. Don't give me attitude. <laughs> I, I think they knew <laughs> Listen, I'll knock everyone out on this planet, all right? Just get out of my way. <laughs> I'll knock myself out. The whole care. population <laughs> is, <laughs> is just knocked out. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? You it's don't over care on the mind? other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. The mothership. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was Coward, already behind dude. the crates when the attack started. You hate to see it, you know? Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I sometimes I, I need a nap to get through my shift. I, hey, you gotta get a nap. I sneak off behind the crates. Mike, if you don't belt this guy, what kind of oh, commander I mean, are you? Come on, sleeping on the job. Leave a, you make me sick. Yeah, you make me sick. Greg, Greg would never let anybody steal time from company time. You know that. If when we get to the new studio, if I catch any of you sleeping at your desk in the conference room, you will wake up to a tombstone pocket drop. For many years, napping has been a, a work benefit that we've brought up many times. For one person. One person. Hey, one person only. No, no. That's not fair. Joey also has napped. I was gonna say Portillo doesn't count. Portillo used to sleep. Now, okay. Kevin, remember you're you, you got a glass little uh, encased room now, right? I walk, I will come through that glass. <laughs> you will wake up. <laughs> you will think Blade himself has found a vampire. All right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, 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 ready. No one else is gonna call out the See Blade. See ya. Huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. Blade. Great. Daywalker. <laughs> I, I look forward to seeing this in action. That's all. I'm very excited about it. Oh, we're gonna get over here. Oh, the big guys, those scariest. Oh no, the big dudes, the scariest. Are you shooting all that stuff though? Nice job. I, I I hope we don't kill this dude on the way or yet. Oh god, I gotta hide, I gotta hide. Cause I really wanna use a force power on him. Knock him off the ship, you know what I mean? Oh, let's kill this dude first. Oh, we don't even have it. Let's just warp in. No, let's throw Caden, throw! <laughs> Warp. Missed him. Show your face. Lame. What's heal? V? There we go. I heal. Stop hiding, dude. What the hell? Look it up. Look it up. 
See ya. Ah, I really wanted to knock you off. Really wanted yeah. you to fly. He just broke it at the back. So that <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, my, my back! <laughs> <laughs> you got my L, my L7 <laughs> vertebrae. <laughs> They're gonna have to fuse it now. <laughs> might be okay. <laughs> Just take a little PT time. <laughs> guys, real cool. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence. The iconic leave. synth music. John Carpenter synth. Whoa! Being possessed. He's fighting like a man possessed. Oh yeah, I remember this pop. Demolition charges. The gas Disarm the all the charges. Turn off those we need to find them all and shut them down. This part was like so difficult as a kid. I remember doing this the first time. It took me so many tries. I just didn't know where to freaking go. Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Dome. Little He's domies. Great, man. He does not oh. Little domies. Domies. Oh. Domies. Dude, down like that one home in the back end of it. Cover me. Disarm that bomb. What setting are you playing on? This is the legendary edition. I'm playing. There aren't really a whole lot of visual settings. It's just like the game looks good. Don't forget, you can claim this game for free right now on Prime Day. Thanks to Prime Gaming, you can freeload up to 30-plus free games from indie to big AAA games, just like Need for Speed, Heat, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Grid Legends, and so much more. You can type an exclamation point Prime Day anytime throughout the stream. Give that click, uh, give that link a click, and you can start downloading up to 30 free, free games right now thanks to Prime Gaming. Remember, if you got Amazon Prime, that means you have Prime Gaming here on Twitch. You can use that free monthly sub right here on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games you'll get ad free viewing you get awesome sub emotes and you get to hang out with us throughout each and every day on the live streams as a subscriber with your free sub y'all dang no secrets over here thought that'd be a little treasure chest is this game known for secrets was this known i mean for yeah it? there's it always you know you, you you find a little uh you know extra ammo or weapon or something okay, you know okay. Like all that loot was in the classroom too. Kind of funny.com slash room 202 202. Get in there. Help Do they need SF a classroom. six foot tall destroy all human statue? Yes. Do yeah. You think the kids would like that. That's yours though, Mike. I mean, I'm not, they're not gonna, you don't need to give away your stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. But like if the kids needed it, you know what I mean? We could talk. You'd about give it. it up for the kids. I understand. Yeah. For the kids. I hope they make another destroy all human statue. God. <laughs> I hate you. You still alive? What the hell? No. I don't want to go to the beacon quite yet because there's loot. Gotta get that loot up. Yeah, good now, like, how important is this loot early on? Is this Very loot you're going to be using throughout the next 60 hours of the game or is this loot you're going to use for 30 minutes? No, it's good to... You know what I mean? It's good to find stuff that you can then uh, it immediately equip when you get back to the ship okay. before you go out on another adventure. You just want to have options. Okay. And then it's the type of thing, Mike, when you're getting better stuff, you can then give the less good stuff to your squad mates and upgrade their oh. crappy oh. weapons, you know? Oh, yeah. It's pretty standard. Uh oh, here we go. People, people know how I play in Diablo. Mm-hmm. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. We saw. Roger, Normandy. Saren <laughs> start floating. Uh oh. Save her, Mike. 
getting sucked into that. Oh. Whoa. Oh. It was that easy. Oh no, he's going in now though. He's, he's going go in now. Jeffrey. You're in trouble. No, I see everything. I see behind all not, the crates. Not a good Oh wow. He's dead, Mike. It's the end of the game. That's he, it. Um, Roll credits. Command he said he witnessed the truth, bro. He saw it. It's a cool looking chip. I'll give him that. Space ground fight. Oh, galaxy. Bad guy monster. We identified this is Miranda. the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. Matriarch Benezia. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed is that? to save the colony. What's her name from Star Trek? It is. is yes, Marina, it is. Not Marina Backrat. Um, that's awesome. Counselor Troy. He's pissed, dude. I'm angry. Very gratuitous shot there. Thank you. <laughs> you think? That just looks Doctor, like Mike, you know? Dr. Is Mike in that game? Taking that. I'm about to shave my mustache tonight. If he pulls up his, if he pulls up his shirt, he's got a wicked sunburn on his belly button. That's, That's him, all right. Yeah. Woo! He puts all those wraparound shades. I learned a valuable lesson, everybody. Like, sir, what happened to your mustache? <laughs> the the beacon must have stolen it. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Is that the lady in pink? Yeah, yeah that's Ashley. Okay, okay. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta oh. waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye. REM. Signs typically associated mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. intense dreaming. I saw. He had that I Tony Stark vision. Yeah. Ooh, right? Remember that? It came true too. Really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Why is Williams here? <laughs> wow, okay. We're going to go there. Yeah, let's go for it. No, let's do I feel bad no, about No, do it. No, no. Be a no, dick. Be a jerk. Ah, oh, you suck, way. Andy. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job. And he's compassionate. He Williams cares part of the and he wants group. to do better. I think Andy, this isn't your real playthrough. You've already had like 19 Mass Effect here, right? Give us what we want. Chat, right. if you want to see Andy be a jerk the rest of the way, put up the ones in chat. Put the yeah, ones put in the chat. Put the ones up in chat right well, I mean, now. I, I wish Mike had less of a delay to see these answers. Massive but jerk. They're... Yeah, you're in control, you know. We're riding your fun, you know what I mean? Look, they're all saying the one baddest. right there, Andy. They're all saying, yeah, if you I don't, don't if you want to see him be nice, I need you to put in 2,300,472.5. Intel dropped the They're all ones. Sir. Nobody's putting in the we other thing. No idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went mm -hmm. down. One. <laughs> the Geth haven't been outside the veil. <laughs> mm -hmm. One. Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. The Geth haven't been outside the veil in two centuries. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed, and Geth are invading. The Council's going to have answers. Popping off right now here in the galaxy. The council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. 
I'll stand behind you and your report, Sever. You're a dead I love that default animation of the character walking away. It's Saren. And we see that a million times Saren here and in two and three. <laughs> Just the like hands crossed behind their back, walking. No, it's the character looking at the camera, then they turn and kind of take a couple of steps. Yeah, I love that. trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the dead. Ah, buried alive. I don't know, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find him, some man. way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We prove Saren's gone. I want to be a specter. It's so cool. Specter status. so cool. I'll contact the ambassador. Andy, they want to let you stand in the same room as the specter. He'll want to oh, see wow. us as soon as we don't the think? Will be jealous. We should be getting close. Me and Nick would be partying with the Spectres, all right? <laughs> you'd be at home feeding our chinchillas. <laughs> right? That's what you'd be doing, all right? Our space <laughs> chinchillas. What do you uh, feed a space uh, chinchilla? <laughs> what do you feed him? Alpha, Another Alpha, one of those, that's what we're taking this. <laughs> <laughs> How'd we do I'm on Keith David getting close to calling him up? You know, uh, the best we got was somebody was like, Troy Baker's been in stuff with him, and that's not what I said. It's not, okay. you know what I mean? not what we Are said. Are they friends? Does Jenkins Keith David alive. hang out with Troy Baker? Might not be here. Big difference. I've hung out with DJ Khaled. I can't just call DJ Khaled. That's not the same, you know? I guess I shouldn't it would be cool if you could, though. It would be pretty it would cool. Be cool. It would be cool. I would like that. We so never really did a whole right. debrief on that. My favorite thing when I did that one, Mike, was that oh, right okay, before yeah. right before we did it right, they were like, hey, like, and never in a million years would I have done this, but they were like, hey, he, his name, you know, DJ Khaled, you can call him DJ Khaled, or you can call him Khaled, don't call him DJ. Yeah. And I was like, why would I ever do that? Hey, and they implanted it in my brain that I, of course, head. called him DJ on the call. Yeah. Well, as long as you don't mind. Why should I pay my you? That's why you never got to do anything with Khaled again? Exactly. exactly. For real. That's no, it, box it's, it's, bet, it's always we, DJ Khaled. Somebody we had some great chemistry, though. We had a great DK? chemistry, so it's going to be fine. Don't worry. Well, he'll be back. I thought you were really great. I thought you did a phenomenal Thank you. job. You Thank you. But, like, isn't... Okay, is his, his, his DJ is a moniker, right? That's like a... That's like, an, a, that's yeah, like it's a doctor. Title. Right? It's a title. So, you know, if you got a doctor, you can call him Doc. Right? If your doctor's name is it's Dr. like I'm Simpson, trending gamer, so a lot of people are screaming, "Hey, trending Trend. gamer!" I'm like, what's yeah. up? Like, I accept it. You know what I mean? I've been losing it on a decade now, by the way. Wow, ten years of, of just whew, getting goose real eggs. close. <laughs> goose um, eggs. Who said he said to you, Ben? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, get it together. We're back in. Wow, team, baby, dude. we're back there, y'all. We're about to lay down the law. Next kid I see sleep behind a crate is getting sucked out in the vacuum of space. <laughs> Let's go, Mike. I'm, I'm all in it right now. For the that kid one. who's behind the crate's like, you're gonna have to, you're gonna fly me to space just so you can shoot me out into the I'm vacuum. Gonna shoot space. you out in space, my friend. That's pretty expensive. I right, know. That's what we do here. A promise is a promise. No, we don't want. Ah, uh, don't need no. charm, Andy. What the heck's going on? Yeah, intimidate. Exactly. That's what I was looking to do. 
full intimidation tactics from Snow Mike Shepard. When I played Shepherd. two, I did like so middle of the road, and I regret that. You should go full Renegade. In these games, I always love up in the charisma because you never know when you can persuade oh, somebody. Oh, I love the charisma. I yeah. love charisma. Sure. I don't got to hear about what you got to say. Yeah, Greg Miller, was there any other dope stories from that um, that awesome stream when we talked about the debrief, right? Of like, you know, DJ Khaled was upside down in one of the shots while he was lazing on his... Yeah, he was, he was chilling out. He was, you know, he was, he was kicked <laughs> back. He was max shot. relaxing. Uh, you know, no, no, that there was that. I thought he was fun. We had a good chemistry. You know, Joey was involved. That was great. Megan Fox enjoyed us. What else? Can, what else can you say? Machine Gun Kelly showed up, and that was my introduction to who he was. Oh, fun! Because I was oh, like, oh, really? her, her, cool? she's friends with this guy, and then everybody's like, no, they date or something. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, they're cool. together. Married? I don't mm -hmm. know if they're married or whatever. Uh, That's cool. Don't married yet, but when you're they've been together for a while. Tell them to bring them I know Machine Gun Kelly from um, that Motley Crue movie on Netflix, The Dirt. Was he in that? Yeah, he's he in that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I watched that. I knew that. I didn't know that was him. Yeah, it's him. I was like, huh, this is a fun movie. Exactly right, Chris. I just wish going full renegade didn't also mean being racist. Like, I want to be a dick to Caden and have cool scars. Totally true. I feel the same way. I just want to be a jerk and be super mean and assertive to people, but I don't want to be like, ooh, aliens? I don't know about them. Commander, I was just about to bring but I guess that's the citizen. true renegade. <laughs> Come on, dude, you gotta hate everything. There yeah. you go, renegade, hate yourself. Renegade! Real, real, real hates in your own heart for yourself. Mount By the way, the word renegade mm -hmm. is the coolest word ever. Every it's time that we have an opportunity to name a team, Nick, Renegade. Before we named them the Wild Aces, I was like, what about the Renegades? And Renegades. you were like, yeah. I like oh, that. wow. That's a badass. Andy thing. was already ready to go. Yeah. Renegade. Not the Renegades, just the Renegade. The, so, the sole Renegade. There's yes. one solo one. Renegade. I understand okay. that. That's good. Look at the size of the ship. Look at the The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need five. <laughs> uh, Joker. No, Joker. Joker. Joker's got a little peen. Little <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Joker's peen peen. It's a 2007 joke right there for you if I've ever heard one. Also a joke that probably will be made on the podcast later today. Huh. Didn't expect that, but I wish it didn't. <laughs> Yeah, we can stop that. <laughs> we can stop that right now. Can't put creative creativity in a box. This is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock four two two. No, for a second I thought the Normandy was gonna land on that little platform. I was like, how small is this ship? <laughs> Look at the Citadel. Citadel. This is the Citadel, this right? This is an outrage. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. This game needs 100% more planet mining. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. Sounds like you can Mike, have you played Mass Effect 2? Yes, 2 and 3 I've they played. Oh, man. Didn't do this didn't do the original. Their top agent. Mm. They don't like him being accused. You ever think about Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, Nick, and how good it was? I never played it. We should play it. Did you fully beat Ma th them, Mike? Uh-huh. Yep. I don't I don't understand how you can fully beat them and not talk about them 24-7. Oh, I mean, what was it, a decade ago? It was kind of a long there time ago. You know? <laughs> and he's <laughs> he talking about it. And he's just talking stop. about it's it. Been a couple games that have come out since. Settle down, Commander. <laughs> You've already done more Mike than never than starts anything he doesn't finish. The mission yeah. on Eden Prime the exception was a chance of a lot of things. Get the job done. <laughs> Looking at you, Elden Ring. <laughs> That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope Mr. Blue, thanks for the five gifted subs. Ooh, thanks, Mr. Blue. Accusations. Otherwise, the council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. 
Come with me, Captain. I want I to go I don't want to be in the Spectres. <laughs> Let me go home. The others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. I love how the guns just fold up in the back. And that's why I hate politicians. Ashley's like, look, both sides are bad. <laughs> Listen, we can all agree. There's a lot of bad guys. Both here. sides have their issues. Boop, 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 boop. That's how you hack in this game. <laughs> Mr. Robot style. That's fun. Now, Mike, you don't wear jeans. Oh, I hate jeans. Get Would it. you be down if, like, there was, like, you had a Mass Effect style uniform like this? You just had one thing you wore all the time. Would that be fun for you? Would you like that? Only if it was comfortable, Greg. Okay. Only if it was comfortable. Do you think this is comfortable? What do you think this is like? Do you think this is like spandex? Well, well you see the ribbed thing on his neck. Like, I think the suit you have and then the armor over it. And I would say it's very comfortable, honestly. Okay. If it's, if it's future. I'm wearing it. It's in the future. Here's where I'm at, Greg. Yeah. When I watch the boys, which yeah. is on Amazon Prime Video, uh, of course we love it. It's great. Any like every time I see Homelander, I'm like, God, it must be so annoying to wear that suit all the time. We never see him sleep. We never see him just maybe doesn't in boxers and a t-shirt. You know? Do you think Homelander sleeps? Yeah. I want to know you think so? Probably. If you wish to learn more, he seems to be cranked up to 11 at all times. Exactly, and maybe that's part of it, you know? In this role, I mean, he's cranked I mean, an interesting up. little wrinkle they toss in eventually. Goodbye. Turns out it is asleep. Goodbye, uh -huh. and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Time to go to the Presidium. Hell yeah. Greg, are you wearing jeans right now, Greg? Of course. I know you're, I know you're weird like that. Yeah, what else would I wear? The comfort of his own home. At a desk. I'm, I'm at my job right now. I have to be ready for anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Me and Andy, when we're ready for anything, MJ could show up at the front door, say one on one right now. I got to be ready to go outside right now. Can't be like, oh, I got to put on, take off my jeans, MJ. Give me a second. No, no. Everybody will always give me crap for like wearing my shoes inside. And like, I understand now I've started to move away from that, but at a certain point, Greg, I, for me, it's being ready. Investigation now, are you ready for the same thing Mike's ready for? That one of the greatest ever to play basketball just might just show up at your doorstep, knock Mike, on your door, be like, let's go. One on one. My just, it's not impossible, you know? Andy gets it. Andy gets yeah, it. That's but fair. also for me, it was like, what if somebody breaks into the house and I need to run away quickly? <laughs> so you're sleep, so you're, <laughs> what if they break in while you're sleeping? Do you sleep in your shoes? I mean, that's a risk I'm willing to take, Nate. Understood. I understood. So just the bottom part of your bed just smells like the city. <laughs> tracking all that into your bed. Yeah, yeah. Just full of dirt. <laughs> it's dirt about him me the wrong candy wrappers. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. I was talking to Garrus, bro. Shut up, Caden. You don't want to. Caden needs to get a cooler outfit, to be honest. Yeah. Caden's got to elevate ahead. that. Caden needs to get it. off the planet and just retire. <laughs> Go away. That was always the thing. It was always such a big deal about, you know, obviously Mass Effect, who you're going to romance, who you're going to be with. And both Kate and Ashley, what do I care? Get off my ship. Stop eating my food and breathing my oxygen. You're both terrible. Yeah. Part two, bring on Jack. Bring on Miranda. Miranda. I mean, I was always a Garrus fan, too. That's why I romanced in Mass Effect 2. But... I like the little alien doctor. He's, he's my favorite. Morden? Yeah, he's my favorite. You ever see, see, see him sing a song? You ever see him sing a song? No, why the the same same. You should watch him go sing his song. Everybody Google Morris singing no, song. No, you missed that. You're <laughs> going to get the cat. You're going to get the cat. Then, <laughs> then. To support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nick, do you feel like there used to be more mascots? We've yeah. Eaten yeah. Bulls. Nuggles. Yeah. Morris the cat. I feel like Morris people used to have fun. Snuggles now it's all kind of NFTs terrifying. and dot coms. Nobody's out there having a great time putting a cat in front. The Cadbury East. They made one Cadbury Easter Bunny commercial, and they were like, "We'll run this for 50 years." And that's their like, "We're done." And first off, to address all of your questions, one, you knock it out of the park with one commercial. You just got it. What are you gonna do? We gotta, we gotta make something lesser. And two, you know, we grew up in a time when people stood for something. Right? That's what mascots sure. were. For. The they 80s stood for something. They stood behind their products. Yeah. And then Snuggles got sued the five times, and 
they're like, well, Snuggles had to retire. <laughs> what did he get sued for? <laughs> I, mean, I missed this. I don't remember this. <laughs> I don't know. I was <laughs> Too much fabric softener in his cocktails. I don't know. Who do you think does the best Snuggles? <laughs> I think it's me. Your species needs Yours is pretty good, oh, yeah. yeah. You're getting a little bit of Pillsbury Doughboy, though, right? Oh, uh, maybe that's the Pillsbury Doughboy. That is the Doughboy. constant struggle to go between them. There's no oh, right to do Pillsbury that. Doughboy. That's not his decision. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's Pillsbury Doughboy. Which one? Did I do Snuggles, then? Did I, get I thought you did a pretty good Snuggles, yeah. Chat? Chat, give me your best Give me a snuggles. one if it was a good Snuggles. 200, 4,000, 500... In it's 50, evident. if so it was far, a bad snow. 2,400, issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. The Beauregard regards says, remember when every serial had at least one mascot? I sure do. Those were the days. How can I they have like a cinematic universe of mascots? Nobody's selling me Frosty Mini Wheats these days. I just, I just got to know I like them, and I do know that I like them, so it works out. But good. But after years of a mascot telling you that. No, there wasn't. There was never. A, well, I guess there was a little shredded Mini Wheat dude, wasn't there? Oh, I'm thinking Tony the Tiger You've for. Made your decision. Sure, fair enough. I won't waste what was Tony the breath. Tiger for? He was for Frosted Flakes. He still is. Frosted He's still right. They're great. Great. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Just Ambassador, didn't even look. Your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres <laughs> is denied. You just listened to me for five seconds. Saying justice was served. Fair enough. It's, it's a lot like uh, the gods in uh, Moon Knight. Yeah, he's doing stuff out in the desert. Nah, he's not. Nah. We're not even going to look. look. Just, you know, no, it's fine. Don't worry don't about, it. about it. People tell us stuff. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with here, here. As a specter, he's virtually untouchable. Grow back your we mustache, need to find Mike. Some <laughs> <laughs> that was a good Keith David, too. <laughs> Speaking of which. <laughs> That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste Damn. my time. <laughs> they blow up Harkin's <laughs> spot. <laughs> Damn, isn't there any he's going uh, through a divorce? He's got confidentiality around here? Yeah. He's just yeah. saying it's a I disciplinary issue. <laughs> okay, shit, man. He's like the Harkin. He caught his wife cheating. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Jesus. <laughs> Something should be between two people. <laughs> take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. Well, what happened? Harkin up for about twenty. We fought each other in a in a I dojo karate tournament. Over. In uh, California. Rasita. <laughs> Saren eliminated his target. A lot of people died along the way, innocent people, and the official records just covered it all up. That's politics, bro. Operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a. So war. would I. <laughs> we can't be that. Do bad. it. Do, Do it. it. Let him know. Let him Do know. It. The Do mustache it. is taking over. A thousand people must die so a million can live. But only <laughs> Anderson's like, I don't know if I want you on this job. Man, I'm really thinking a lot of things. <laughs> I, think, I think you understand you the, the situation here. And he knows how to cover his tracks. What if it was like sometimes a million people will have to die for a thousand to live? <laughs> that doesn't that math. <laughs> that's not how that Depends works. on how cool those thousand people are. Yeah, like if they're all like in the VIP section. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we gotta save them. Celebrities are our royalty. Are they celebrities and athletes? Yeah. How else am I going to watch basketball? Exactly. Wards. Cora's Den. Loading. 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 
That's him. Oh shit, we're just fighting already, dude. Big bomb. There it is. Ah. There you go. Don't. Right here, let me let me knock him out. Oh, it's right. Ooh. I love that you have to get. I love that you. I love you have to get within two meters of the guy. <laughs> I don't power. have to, I just want it visible. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look good. Make it yeah. look good. Everybody in here is just chilling. <laughs> no worries. There's a lot of gunfire out there. It's just, there's a lot of base. In Two this dead bodies out know. there. I didn't know you could just be firing off in a spaceship like that. Mike, we cannot have you be seduced by. Yes, we can. Oh, we, blue we can't. Lady. We yes, can't. We can. Sit in the chair. Go for a ride. The Asari's. All right, we'll do a little bit. Sit in the chair. Go for a ride. We'll do a little bit, he says. <laughs> we'll bit. do a little bit. It can't. It doesn't all have to be work out here, you know. You know? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> wait, wait. All work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. Come on. Uh huh. Take a load off, man. Relax a little bit. I like that guy a lot. Look at this dude. The best posture ever. <laughs> oh, right up, bro. That's how you're supposed to sit right there. This is the pinnacle of relaxation. Back off, Sitting Rex. up perfectly straight. Just told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. Oh, there he is. is the best. Chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Shut up, Ashley. Not enough people say quarrel. You know what I mean? I have no quarrel. quarrel. Nobody says Back room quarrel. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Fist is a badass name what for a club owner, want? but also kind of scary. Right. Person. Kind of sounds like Fisk. Not real chatty, is he? You know, oh, like Wilson Fisk. That's the one. That King That's Penn. the one. Oh, okay, Wilson. See, Andy, anyone can do it. Alliance you just kind of channel. What was it that sounds just from like Monsters it, yeah. University? Instead, I All right. Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. It sounds just like it. <laughs> I'm looking for a CSEC officer. Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. I know where Garrus is. Big secret. Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a spectre. He's the one who slept with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> he drove me to drinking. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying I didn't have a drinking problem before this. <laughs> Definitely exacerbated the situation. So bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the tourist. He used to be a specter. Huh. That's cool. Is it cooler to be a specter or to have once been a specter? Sniffing around Dr. Be a specter. Cool. Yeah. That's my assessment as well. Nothing like. If it was like, you know, if you like, just theoretically, just theoretically, if you were like. I was a specter in 2015, and then you're referencing it in 2022. Oh. Like your best friends might make fun of you, even though it's a huge accomplishment. Oh, yeah, you know that would be actually really sad. Even though they yeah. have accomplished nothing, just nothing. You know, <laughs> yeah, they would still be because you bring it up. You're you're the jerk. You're the horse. Still, bring, still wearing the the varsity jacket to the to the local CBS to show off that he used to be the guy. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, all state. I was all state. <laughs> all state. Yeah, he's got a couple All of state reserve number four. Yeah. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers get it easy. You soldiers get it easy. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Mike just sober up, you brony. Mike just freaking I'm out of here. Giving people orders. He's like, I don't even uh, know you, bro. <laughs> sober up, bro. You don't even know Harkin either. Yeah, this guy, you just met this guy. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome Hello to Harkin's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you Oh, that's intimidates some fools. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. 
Very good things I have. You will see. No, we can't intimidate anybody in. Do you think they're just you selling stuff all the time? These marketplaces here on an alien ship, or do you think there's like, you think there's like hours of operation? Here? Oh, there's hours of operation. Yeah. You think there's an hours of operation? It's not twenty four seven. Well, no. it kind of reminds me of like an airport, Mike, where I think you have a point where like I think some of these, uh, some of these places have to be open for people flying from other areas. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I mean, like, there's the ship's the not stopping, the right? It's going, fly. so, like, yeah. there has to be a night crew. To meet you. Yeah, but like he's saying, like, airports, they, they have hours where things are closed well, down, like, shops you. are closed down, and you just don't yeah, have enough traffic. Yeah, but they should always they keep them open. They should, I they agree they, they shouldn't, guys, but always how keep it is. Them open. You want a bagel in the middle of the night, you can't get it, I'm sorry. Exactly. Your boy Snowbike Mike shows up for a 5 a.m. flight, nothing's open yet, what's up with that? I need a water bottle. This guy's a freak, right, chat? Knock his ass out. Him go Knock him out. Knock him Conrad out. Werner is a freak. A freak on a leash. Okay. okay. It's a, it's a, he's like a fanboy of of you, and uh, I forget what the end resolution of the whole thing. I forget if it's like a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm just gonna say, leave me alone. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard does not a role model for the little people. Far be it for me to get in Slap this way. guy sideways. You go be a hero. There's the there's the turn animation. <laughs> get out of my way, Conrad. I don't give a damn about no. you. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this mod. Wait, did I just come from here? No, this is this is the way to the this medical. This is surprisingly clinic. good time. It's a great time. What? Hanging out and playing Mass Effect? Hanging out and playing Mass Effect with you jabronis? This is like You thought this was going to be a bad time? It's going to be a great Come time. Come on, y'all. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? No. <laughs> I don't have time to give interviews. <laughs> no. Okay, no. Nope. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places... I forget, this Chobot... She's in three, right? You might mm -hmm. anything you okay. find during your own investigation. Well, that's cool. I can make it worth your time. She plays a character I'm called Veronica job, Mars. <laughs> oh, <one>. wow. <laughs> Detective. <laughs> that's not that's not accurate. Don't worry about that. That's not accurate. Don't I hate the lamestream media. Get out of here, Wong. <laughs> the lamestream media. Yeah. Not a funny best friends. Don't forget it is Prime Day today, and we are celebrating this awesome sponsored stream with our friends over at Prime Gaming. You can freeload up to 30 plus titles right now from Indies to Big AAA games, all for free. If you have Amazon Prime and, of course, Prime Gaming, you can type an exclamation point Prime Day throughout the stream at any time. Click on that link and claim all of your games right now, like Mass Effect Legendary Edition and so much more. Boom! Oh! Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Garrus is a sharpshooter. Garrus a bad dog. Wow. Get him. Ooh. Ooh. Got it. Throw this freak right here. Throw this little. F oh, it didn't work. The throw's gonna take a little bit more practice. On me. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wow. All patched up. All patched up. Any items? Any freebies? No. Rally round. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle. We're not going to be mean to Garrus. No, Garrus. I will not be mean to Garrus. He's the homie. He's going to be our homie. Okay. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for. Now, like, what kind of homie level will we be with them? Like, Bodhi Saifa and Johnny Utah, or like, you know, like Riggs and Mort. Murtaugh. You know what I mean? Or, what kind of probably kind of Maverick, homie level will Maverick we Maverick Goose homie level? Maverick probably. Goose. Yeah. Okay. I'd okay. say Thor and Hulk and Ragnarok. They will very close cool. those two. Cool. Thor and Hulk. Okay, okay. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us Saren what happened. Gas. A few days ago, a quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the shadow so broker. Cool. 
She wanted to trade information. This reminds me like Mission Impossible. Shadow broker. Shadow broker. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. I'm not sure Catchfire Comics. Since somebody answered Catchfire Comics. For a place to hide. She it's the Prime? Affiliate link, or does it help you guys if yes. we use it? Yes, please use our link. We would be it would mean the world to us here at Kinda of Funny. If you use our link, if you type in X Place Point Prime Day or and throughout the stream, that link is gonna pop up. You can uh, click that link and yes, it will help and support us here. Time we paid, Time we fist, paid fist, fist a visit. A visit. Yeah, Andy, go get him. Fist. We're going I'm back to the club. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the council and a disgrace to my people. You made your case. Hell yeah. You know, we aren't the only Oh, wow. He's on your case. team just like that. Shadow yeah, dude. Oh, I, I, when you meet Murtaugh and your oh. legs, you just know, dude. You can join us. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Get the hell out of here, Ash. Get the flock of seagull out of here. Look at this squad. This is a squad. Well, not really. Once you get Rex, then in, then it's a squad. Rex is the bomb, dude. Shepard. What's over here? Can I open? This? That's a good Rex I, too. I never did the whole quest uh greg if you remember you had to find all these little freaks no uh -huh. i never did that mission it was just like way too much yeah i understand it was way too intense i like i couldn't find them all i got frustrated and i was like dude i'm 18 years old what am i doing you know i got other stuff to do and what was the other stuff i had to do i worked at a car dealership yep oh wow it sucked Are you pretty good at it well, I wasn't a sale. I, was, I just worked customer service. I was I was pretty good. Yeah. Answering phones. Considering I didn't speak, I never learned like Spanish fully, but I was able to like talk to customers. Hmm. Hello, Earth Clan. I love these dudes. No doubt you've just come back from the a little colonies. mole people. Will you be needing supplies? I think I'll be. Oh. Going. As you say, Earth Clan. I guess we're going. I guess you made my decision oh, for me. Okay, let's talk. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, I'm Jordan. Yes, they did. Uh, Mass Effect 1 got all of the controls that Mass Effect 2 and 3 had, where they made the uh, the shooting better, and they made, like, aim assist better, and all that stuff. I don't know where I'm going. I already forgot where I'm going. I'm going for Rex. Rex the, is... The Citadel's very big. Where was, where did I just so You basically just roll with Garrus and Rex, then and you just ditch Ashley, Ashley and Caden. Yeah. Rex was in the, no, we just came from the markets. Rex was in Cora's Den, right? But I don't know where he, he was leaves. In the nightclub. I don't know where he goes after. Yeah, we just came from here. Out drinking with his buds. Whoops, did I hit a button without wanting to? I sure did. <laughs> C sec. Andy, did they try to get you to sell cars? No, 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 no. No, we had plenty of salesmen. How the freak do I get to C sec? Andy, did they sell you a car? No. No, I had a. Uh, well, you know what? Yes, they did, but before I worked there. 
It was my oh. my uncle was a salesman. And then I ended up working there. And then my uncle would always make jokes that he ripped me off. That oh. he ripped my parents off. <laughs> oh. Was he directly related to one of your parents? <laughs> yeah, he's he's my he's my mom's brother. He's a joker. Oh, I see. At one point they had sold me a uh a um Mazda 5, which is like a little hatchback. Mm -hmm. cool car. And it was cool. bright yellow. And my uncle would be like, he'd walk around and he'd be like, hey, remember that uh, that one, uh, those stupid customers we sold the yellow Mazda 5 to? Remember that? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> that's so <just> funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally going the wrong way. Sorry, Chad. I'm Y'all playing the free Prime Day game? Awesome. Hell yeah. Come on, Smokey. Smokey it's a gets it. freaking ridiculous good deal. Smokey, 30 free games. Make sure to go download them. You then what I want you to do, to go take it to the streets. Prime, need for Speed Heat. Go play Need for Speed Heat. After. And then just look at my snow, Space Mike Shepard uh -huh, right here. Uh -huh. Look at this, Smokey. Look at me. Did I go back to having a mustache, Smokey? It's all up to you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all up to Smokey right now. Holy. <laughs> Backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Smokey's an OG. Smokey's been here since October 19, 2015, Greg Miller. Holy. That's a long time, and I appreciate Smokey's it. Smokey's in the know. Smokey has a Twitch account that was created in 2012. Wow. Smokey, Smokey baby. Shepard. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You kind of want to just play with the skin you? on his throat just a little bit. Grab it like it's a fish. I, I want to. I want to just kind of knock on like the skull part of it. See how hard it is. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's like this hard shell. How do they get in and out of these uniforms? That's what I want to know. Where's the zipper? Mm-hmm. You don't the get out of the uniform. You just wear the uniform. The uniform Always. is life. How you, how you take a poo poo? Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> great question. Yeah. That's a great question. I didn't think of that one. That's they, a great they just have a point. cloaca. It's just one whole. Is hole that what a catheter is for your tutu? We're both warriors, mm. Shepard. Mm. Oh, that's it. That's all Kev's got. Mmm. I'm going to think like, through. I'm going to think through what you said there and get back to you, Nick. <laughs> yeah, that was the. I know, Kevin. That was this is a sponsored stream. We're going to yeah, stop this uh, one right here. We're mm, that's not, far I'm enough. Go in there. You will find a friend. <laughs> <In> Cloaca. <laughs> it's, it's one orifice, uh, Nick. Oh, I one understand orifice. it. Yeah, no, you does it all. it perfectly. Um, I think we're. Is that what birds have? Fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep and fish tortoises. Oh. I like how they don't let you pick a bad answer. Like, nah, these are your friends now. Even the bottom answer is gonna be like a, we're gonna be good friends. This is the squad right here, dude. These guys just get it. Look, look at this. Get look it. at this. Let's go shut that leg crew leg right down. here, dude. If you were to say to these three guys, these two guys right here, we're gonna go to the Halloween shop. We're gonna get some masks mm -hmm. of dead presidents, and then we're gonna <laughs> rob banks so that we can fund an endless summer of surfing. Yep. They'd be like, "Sign me up." Yep. Where we all drive, bro? Where do we go? Nick is so on brand, only being one third in frame. Says Lanky Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Nick doesn't care about the aesthetics of the street. Nick has become DJ Khaled over here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going into hour three. Here we go. Yeah, here he's, we go. he's getting comfy right now. He's getting comfy. We're not. We're, we're we are not as close as hour three, but I appreciate it. <laughs> going into hour Just right starting now, hour two, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Hour three. Reports on all newly arrived British and notable people. <laughs> what is this place? This is the. If you have more questions, uh, please access. I should be going now. I should go. Day. Nick, what is our next '80s action movie? Because I think you and I, we got a dope one that we. That's a great watch, question. Right? You reached out. I totally forgot to get back to you, so I got to hit up oh. James and Elise for that. See if they want to recant. We were thinking about doing something silly though, something crazy. Well, on this something a little different. Give them a little different. Something different this time. And I don't know. I don't know how this yes, is going to work out because it's going to be a little longer. You and Sarah. But and Mike has never seen the movies The Rock. Or Con Air. 
And I kind of wow. want to expose him to both of those at the same time, just to like, you know, like when they're like, oh, you got to get the vaccination, we got to give him the full dose. I want to give him do all the dose and the booster at the same time. So he just is fully inoculated Cage. against any Nicolas Cage hate. Oh, okay. Okay. I've been to The Rock now. I can, I can, I can say you I have. And they uh, shot the movie. They shot that movie oh, on that But he that had rock. a bad experience. He had a bad experience there. See, I told him he should watch the movie first. Bird poop no. right in the eye the moment I got off. Oh, man, you get the pink eye? He was done. He, he looked around. He was like, off. I don't get it. This is just a jail. Why are people excited to be here? It's scary. A lot of people, a lot of crazy stuff happened there, man. They made some shoes. I highly recommend if you go to the rock. They made wear some glasses. shoes. <laughs> wear glasses. Are you talking about the dude that escaped? Yeah, the guy Bird. Did okay. he make a shoe? Okay. Or did he make a video? Yeah. He made a thing about himself, a face. Yeah, like he a made a fake face. thing. But I knew you were talking about the escaping. <laughs> Oh, this dude sucks. This dude's super racist. I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Oh, you don't stick your fingers in people's uh, pie, mind. guys. Forget That's it. really rude. You shouldn't do was it. You, you know, he immediately was like, ah, oh, that was kind of thing. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being well, given a lot. You, though. If the council wants wrong. to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. We gotta fight for our right to party. Is what I would say to this guy. Don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done? Damn, bro. I'll be going. Goodbye, Commander. Don't make me, dude. Don't make me. You can't do that. You couldn't no, do it. No, you can't. I dare nah. you to do it. Do it right now. No, you can't. It, it, oh. The gun draws. The gun pulls it away. I let live out our space fantasies. <laughs> Murder. Now, you can't say our space fantasies. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> You can like, actually walk a lot of different places in this in the citadel that I always kind of forget about. There's a lot of other areas you can explore. Garrus? Oh, he's right here, actually. What was he having lunch? It's like Keanu Reeves eating that sandwich down there. <laughs> Nictorious, thanks for the nine months. Nictorious. Remember Twitch chat, it is Prime Day with Prime Gaming. You can claim up to 30 free games, but also with Prime Gaming, you can subscribe here for free each and every 30 days. Help support the team with your Prime Gaming sub. Woo! You don't have to pay at all. You can just use those Jeff Bezos bucks to help out your favorite crew here at Kind of Funny. So if you got Amazon Prime, you got Prime Gaming, you can take advantage of free loading here on Prime Day where you can load up to 30 free games right now. Claim those free games. And of course, also subscribe for free and help support the team. That's nothing. I've had my office rearranged five times. Five times. I shouldn't be able to get tired and be out of breath in these running sections. Should be like Elden Ring, Mike, you know? Mm -hmm. I right, like I, when you're just yeah. running around, you have infinite stamina. Yeah, I mean, you're only power walking, you know what I mean? He's not dead sprinting like Greg Miller in front of that speed stop sign, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 13 I was miles gone. an hour. Unbelievable. Yeah, no one's ever seen something like it. Oh, that was so I'm incredible. never going to forget that. This one is great. So I, I did some sprints uh, over the weekend at the basketball court. I was oh, like, nah, no. I'm still faster than Greg. Like, okay. Wow, Greg. Where's the video? Where is the video? Where is the thing saying how fast you're running? Don't I, I don't need the video. Actually, you know what? Oh, you I'm don't need the video to make your point. That makes a lot of sense. You know what? I'm not faster than Greg, actually. Greg is faster. Let's just let's place a lot of bets on it, and then when we actually do the race, we'll see what happens. Chad, but everybody bet on Greg. He's faster than me. Oh, this one. I don't think I don't think anyone has to race if you can admit it. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, I think it's done then. It's over. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. Chad, I think Greg is faster, but we'll see. In a... <laughs> when are we going to do the basketball game, huh? It is good to see you. Hey, 
baby steps. All right, we're coming out of a global pandemic. Uh, uh, <laughs> Somebody uh, yesterday when we were streaming was like, "What are you? When are you doing the wing show with?" Uh, oh, it was Batson. He's like, "When are you doing the wing show with McCougar? Is that just on hold like the basketball game? Like, let's get, let's slow down a second, everybody. All right." We'd like to think COVID's fully over. It We'd like to go over. to restaurants that actually let you this. in. <laughs> I got three trips back to back to back this 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 month. Let's see if I if I don't catch COVID, maybe we'll start investigating what's going on. I give you like a seventy percent chance you're catching it. So it's yeah, I mean it's out there. It's lurking. That's why I didn't go to Nick's comedy night. I really do respect oh, wow. how, because even before That's COVID was a thing and we knew what it was, you were you just didn't go anywhere because you didn't want to get what you thought was COVID, but you didn't know what it had that name yet, you know? Look at well, I finally right. have the excuse. I finally have like the, oh, the, you know, my kid's sick or my dog is sick sure. excuse now. Greg, a lot of people are blessed with foresight, right? Yeah. A, a vision of the future that others don't see. Yep. Andy's Andy got on Twitch super early. Andy got on the YouTube super early. Yeah, people are like, "What's this Twitter thing?" Andy already had at mm -hmm. Andy Cortez. Everyone knows, right? It's true. At Maximum Cortez. Uh, and so yeah, of course, when COVID came around, it makes certain, total sense that Andy had been a recluse in his <laughs> in his room for four years prior to that. And it's cool. <laughs> what is this thing? What the heck? We're is proud that? of you, Andy. Is all we're saying. These yeah, are the keepers, awesome. Nick. You missed the, the hell keeper. of a show on Sunday. It was fun. Oh, I don't like this thing. Squash it. It's a bug. The keepers are there's a, like a side mission where you can go where there's some people like these keepers are just kind of working all over the place. What do you think they're doing? And you go, you have to find every keeper on the Citadel. And they're all like some of them are hidden. Um, and I never really found the answer there. Oh, that was a, that was a letdown story. Yeah. That story yeah. had a great climax, and then just nothing. Just yeah. no resolution to it. I don't know where to go, by the way. I'm totally lost. I thought oh, you were going to the nightclub to shut down Fist. Yeah, oh, yeah, shut you're, down right. you're right. You're right. Like, this is a nice fountain in the middle of the Bellagio. Cool. Are you a fountain type of guy, Nick? Do you like I fountains? Love, oh, I love fountains, Mike. Yeah, I like, you enjoy I like to feel the mist, the cold mist come oh, off you the feel that? when it's the wind totally, blows. Uh, uh, tickle your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a kind of a waste of water? Sure. But we Maybe. have so much water in California, we just don't even know what to do with it these days. So much water, Nick. Yeah. It's donkey. Binary Less greenery here. What's your favorite kind of fountain, though, Nick? Is it one with a statue? Is it more, like, rustic and, like, you know, kind of, like, rocks and trees? Or, like, oh, what kind of statue or what kind of fountain are we talking? I like a little moving water in, like, okay. a oh, okay. garden when I'm uh -huh. going to, like, a day spa. You know, where it's, like, it just gives you a little bit of, like, Hey, this is nature. You know, little drops of water. And you go, I'm just so relaxed right now. I could literally just let go. I could let everything go. Andy, if I convince Nick to take us to a spa day, would you do that? Oh, With yeah. Somebody touching your feet and your hands. Full massage. I want to get like a facial, like kind of like. Yeah, you'd be uh, into that? I want all the. All the you know the steam like facial. scalp massage, yeah, the okay. lemons on my eyeballs, cucumbers on my eyeballs too. Put a yeah, cucumber on there too. Put, for sure, don't ask for lemons on your eyeballs. I think that might be oh, cucumber. <laughs> yeah, lemon lemon juice in your eyeball, not yeah. the most relaxing. Ah! Just just cut two grapefruits in half, put them both in my eyes, <laughs> smear them in my eyeballs. <laughs> you should be more tolerant. It's just trying this is the only thing I'm going to be I am not unreasonable. The open NR about. Is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. You're pathetic. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in seasick. I didn't ask for your help, human. This guy, Mike, this Hanar, just trying to, like, be the dude preaching about religion in the middle of the place. Mm. Oh, okay. And okay. I'm just, and this guy's mad. He needs an evangelical permit. And for me, I'm just like... Just let him talk, bro. He's oh, doing wow. his thing. You know? I thought I thought we were real mean Mike though. Re mean space Mike. Oh, well, like the, we're I still open to people's beliefs though. Right. Is the thing. Oh, okay. I, I just thought like, yo, the rules say permit. Get your right. butt a permit, you know what yeah, I mean? Something like that. Permit, Brody. Exactly. You want you want to talk about it, you can be Listen, about you it. Turn you can have that permit. They don't have a permit. You're gonna turn around. There's gonna be ten more people talking about that same religion in five seconds. Everyone's gotta get a permit. Everyone, get a permit. I'm gonna yank one of your testicles down to the ground and I'm gonna murder you. Yeah. <laughs> if I see anyone, anyone behind a crate today, I'm going <laughs> off on that guy. Like no uh -oh. sleeping allowed. Uh oh. Oh, now you notice it. Bad. 
Now, I got a bone to pick with one break. Oh, okay. No, he, he left. He left. Nope. You have 14 minutes with Greg, so don't miss. Fair. Because he does have to leave. Eh, it's not worth it. No, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's that's always worth it, Nick. God, uh, your Nick, head, your I, skull is Nick, thick. I just want to be clear that it's not always worth it, and sometimes trust your instincts. No, this one's worth it, I think. Trust me. I think Mike's right. Mikey is my instinct. You know, I would love Bam. to live my life and just, just every decision that I have to make leave up to, like, Mike, Kevin, and my wife. Oh, just, like, that was, you want to leave up to Kevin. You want Kevin involved on that. That's yeah. He said Mike. He Kevin said Mike. Mike. That's way worse. Mike for 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 the for the adventure, Kevin for the pragmatism, and no. D because mm. there's some decisions that just revolve around her, and she has to make those decisions. Kevin, Kevin talk to me. Talk me through this. Because again, both D and Mike, I know how they're gonna play it. Would you? How often would you screw with Nick with the decisions? Never. If I'm yeah. in power, in, in, a, in a thing of a yeah. authority and power, you gotta yeah. be honest. But I always say yes to adventure. Yeah. So, you know. It's true. Kevin's been to Great America more than any other man should. Ooh! Ooh, we love the amusement park. Stay back or we'll shoot. Let him know. You're making a big mistake. Bodyguards to get in here. What do you think now, I'll Greg, do I got a bone to pick with you. Uh, hmm? As soon as I can find the tweet. Okay. Screw fist. Tweet a lot. Well, I don't he think I'm not worried about it. a lot, a lot of time here. to get ready, Greg. Here we go. Um, Here we go. 16 hours ago. Man, stop what, what you're doing and go watch all of hashtag the bear FX. Incredible. Huh. Huh. You really like that show, huh, Greg? <laughs> Talked about it yesterday. A lot of people are saying I put it on the map, yeah. Okay. Oh, that, here we go. That's where we're at. <laughs> I no mean, mention I haven't of, heard uh, anyone talk about it before that. No mention Do you want of, me to uh, go in there? You want me to respond to it and say, by the way, Nick recommended this to me? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We talked about it yesterday. What did I say then? Like, did I tell the story that Nick Hold recommended it? it? He didn't say that. He's talking on a podcast. What? What? I didn't say that. Didn't say 600, that. 665 likes right here. I don't know. I have anything to do with this. On fine. the stream, I said, yeah. I'm, look at the chat. I said, Nick told me, and we thought it, I thought it was a comedy because everything's a comedy when you pitch it. Not you, Nick. When you pitch a show in general, everything's a comedy. Oh, fair enough. No, I told you Wait, it was more. Fair. I was like, if you're not in a good state yeah. of mind, do not watch this show. It yeah. is very intense. Nick, I'm okay. gonna go correct it right now. Okay. Okay. Appreciate. He's okay. gonna correct it. Yeah. Chat, put up a poll. Does do you think he's gonna correct it or do you think it's gonna get worse? Do you think this is it's gonna, gonna get, get worse? Just, okay. No, he's gonna do the right thing. He always does. Greg coming back with an Oreo in his mouth means he's ready to party. He's he's taking this Wait, thing up a notch. I don't notch. know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face, impossible. Even this guy's got a good fade. Through an agent. Yeah, this guy really looks good great. fade. Yeah, yeah he looks great. Nobody meets the Ooh, shadow tops bro, a bit much. Ever. Oh, I, I like it. Flat toppy. He looks like Kurt Got the widow's soldier. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Nick, I wanted to ask you this earlier. You but is sure. I blow your not the off. heat. Just the movie Heat. You think that Great. still holds up? Oh, yeah. By the okay. Excellent. Oh, yeah. I watched that movie a year ago. Right now. Excellent. You excellent movie. Excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. Also, the oh! definitely holds up. What happened? Someone shoot him? What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Yeah, that sounds great. Say he deserved it. A lot yeah, of yeah, we're on. Died because of him. That's cool with that. He had it coming. Now let's move. Yep. I like that, that your shepherd you. can just rationalize anything. <laughs> you know what? At some point, this guy's probably going to do something pretty bad. Yeah. Should kill him. You know what? I'm cool with it. <laughs> That's fine. No problem with us. And you haven't missed a single one of those. You are really I'm, good. I'm on it right now, Mike. You are I couldn't even imagine missing, you know? Is there know any what it's new like. Frogger video games at all that we could be an Andy can go play? Because like he's dialed in right now. Dominate the leaderboards. I love Frogger. It's a good game. <laughs> Where are you hiding, bro? Your head's showing. <laughs> behind the crate, man. He's sleeping. <laughs> oh, bro, you can't. Be oh behind. no, you not can't behind, be behind a table. table, bro. <laughs> not the behind a table. Homie. Upright table, sir. This guy's just not getting <laughs> Push and push. There it's you go. Oh, that favorite. was good. That was worth it. It's my favorite. All clear. All clear. 
Uh oh, Greg's internet just popped out for a hot sec. Oh no. We'll get him back. We'll get him back. We'll get him back. He'll come back. He'll come back. It's fine. We don't need him. Oh, it's no. fine. He has to leave anyway. <sighs> Nick, do you want me to move you over, or is that where you're going to stay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I can move you over. <laughs> nah, I got you. I got you. It's just if you're going to keep moving around, that's fine. That's fine. Nah, this is good. Mike's getting chopped a little bit, little. too. These are narrow little windows. Little, little narrow windows. It's good. It keeps uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Right. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Oh, Where's look at that guy. Ali, dude. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. off. Wait, bro, you can't just be coming up and be touching my on people like that, Brody. What are you doing? Whoa. Two about big heads. Whoa. She knew she something was up. Can we talk about this really quick? We're on a spaceship in the middle yeah. of space. A lot yeah. of gunshots, a lot of explosions. Like, can this can this thing take that kind of yeah, stuff? Of yeah, yeah, like, it's a big a spaceship. Super, that's a big spaceship. The super spaceship, so like a super spaceship. It's never gonna blow up, you know, with the well, gunshot. Well, not never, but like you know, okay. probably yeah. mostly I not. Knew I couldn't trust him. Okay. Seems like we're we're popping a lot of shots against the walls and stuff. Yeah, like you wonder, like, yeah, am I gonna hit the one <laughs> piece of machinery that affects his whole? That, that lady <laughs> just threw a grenade on the ground, like so everybody knows. It was fun. You've got proof. Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Sarah. You didn't say that. I guess like, I owe you. But not out here in I wanted you to be like someone who just saved your life. <laughs> That's so cool. We could take her to the human cool. embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. She becomes one of your crew too, right? Yeah. Talia. Does she ever take off the mask? Mm -mm. It's like well, you can see the eyes behind it, right? So like, will we ever see what's underneath? There, there. <laughs> Who's this? There's a um, there's a photo in her room that shows her face. Oh, and Bio Bioware got a lot of crap for it because it was a just like a Google image of a lady that they photoshopped to kind of mm -hmm. make it look like an alien. Um, okay. But they um, I think they completely like edited that and, and fixed it. Um, I would have loved it if it was like Wilson where it's just the lady's face, but half of it's shrouded behind a gate like a fence. Like this. Oh, I love that <laughs> guy. This quarian can help us bring down Sarah. I would have yeah, it's a stock photo, yeah. My throat. I apologize, Commander. The, the one thing that's still Sarah messed up texture-wise, Udina's Maybe lips. They look like the he looks like he has My frostbite. Maybe he just likes to um put that sunscreen on his lips, here. like the music in the eighties, that like colored sunscreen. It was, was so cool. Every time my she writer, talks about her flotilla, I always think of tortilla. I was thinking flauta. Oh, I love flauta. Looks like a, that's a sandwich, travels, right? Uh, no, I believe flautas are just uh, tequila. Oh, man. I love shredded beef flautas. I was curious. Oh, I tried to patrol right, with Geth. Yeah, they're really nice taquitos. They're oh, good taquitos is what those are. If you were if you were down here right now, this is what we'd be eating for lunch. Google Kevin, did you hear that? We're going to get flautas. Yeah, you got flautas near you? Take a look. Like, where, where, where can we get flowers? There's got to be flowers somewhere near me. My people near me. created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio base. Remember, her kind created the Geth, chat. No, what is yep. what is her background? Was a major what is she? Victory. She's a quarian. Cool. Has brought us one step closer to finding what are what are the Geth? The Geth are the those the alien or the robots that we were fighting at the beginning. Robot oh. people. Saren won't get out of this one. So we have the audio proof. Saren wasn't working alone. Of the fact that Saren's working with them. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. It's the Are they some kind of new alien species? Mm. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Doesn't all this sound kind of far-fetched? 
the vision on Eden Prime. I You're getting sweaty, that. Mike. Yeah. I don't think I it's getting far-fetched, Nick, because like we were Reaper. down on Eden Prime, like seeing people doing Reapers it. You know what I mean? How, how far-fetched can it really be? Life, and we were there. Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The council is just going to love this. Andy, just for the, the just for like, threat to every species in if you ever have a question about which response, just go. It's no always what they think about the rest of this, bottom right. Those bottom always right. bottom right. Bottom right. Bottom right. Bottom right. Bottom right. Just we, default. We all now default that. bottom right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Hell Let's yeah! Join the you. squad. You're not ready for this. Join, you have joined us. But I don't know. I don't know if that'll actually make her not join. You're, you're not no, ready for this. Join. I think she joins either way. I mean, are we really going to run with her? Are you going to run with her? More than you can handle. And they, oh, like yeah, they're not letting me. Okay. And we need all the help we can get. Take her with you. Anderson and I will go ahead. Look at his purple ass lips. Dude, again, I'm telling Take you, dude. What was that stuff called, Chad? Eighties. Colored lip balm. Oh. Lip sunscreen. Yeah. Lip sunscreen. Zinc. Zinc. Yeah, that's what they called it. Is that is that what they were putting on their nose, right? All those Maybe, cool, but uh, I could have swear they put it on their lips, too. Were they putting zinc on their nose, Kevin? Commander Shepard. Could you I don't Commander know much Shepard. about skin my name is care. And no, I'm not trying to do the safety. I've requested that my wife's body yeah. be... Yeah, dude, yeah. zinc was the Thank bomb, Yeah, man. Zinca, bro. Zinca is what they were putting on... Colored Zinka. nose coat, dude. Waterproof sunblock. Mike, I dude, just I'm imagine when I met you, you had that stuff. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, when I go out there, man, we start learning how to surf. We're, this is what we're wearing. This is all we're wearing. This seems... All over us. God, this is incredible. I'm so excited. I can't wait to learn how to surf down there. I can't. Yeah, it's going to be cold. And it is a heck of an exercise too. You get sore. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Here we go. This is big. This is big. Oh, a big, big moment. Victory. Huge Beacon moment. Has brought us one step closer to Nick. finding the conduit. And one moment. step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status. And all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. When in doubt, bottom right. The conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Whoa. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace Is of their existence? So much? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! Send in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel yeah, fleet I mean, can. could secure the entire region. <laughs> I think it can, yeah. It's actually going to be a lot easier than just hitting one dude. It's like a big galaxy. <laughs> one dude. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. 
Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does oh, not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Tell him, Mike. Oh. Tell him, Space Mike. I don't know. With oh, the stash, go hype as hell. No, it's him. Commander Shepard, step forward. Yes. Give me my lightsaber. God, I just got goosebumps. Ooh, did you get a lightsaber in this? <laughs> no, he's lying. Look at all these people leaning in. Well, I've never seen this before. These people I were invited to watch over the Wait. council like that? Yeah, there's a concession but, stand upstairs. They were just kicking it up there. Yeah. Wasn't the other guy the already a specter? The Didn't they say that? Or no? Yeah, they were both just specterness. Yeah, they yanked it from us. Specters are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Specters are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. About time. <laughs> I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive for I don't justice, like when they do so that, though, where it's like, I just want to say about time. You know what I mean? About okay. time. This meeting of the council is adjourned. Bad. You gotta give my lightsaber. <laughs> Congratulations. Here's this gift card to Applebee's. Applebee's. You have to use it after you've already gone to Applebee's, though. It's on the second trip. <laughs> yeah. You, go down you get it upon customers. pain for the first bill. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson, come with me. Uh, you're all this Isn't that the worst? Kind of hey, Kevin, tomorrow I'm thinking I stream it just by myself. Because it's messing up a lot, huh? Bastard didn't even thank you. Um, yeah, but I wonder if that's... Politician. Come on, right behind like, the move might, have, might be to restart my internet. That's the only other thing. But, like, normally I would see dips on my, like, the, you know, the bottom of OBS, and I'm not seeing it seems consistent. Yeah, it's just always when it's like when there's when the imagery is more static, mm -hmm. you know. In these cutscenes, when the backgrounds are just kind of still. Yeah, but we we can definitely do that if you feel comfortable doing it. Uh, it, yeah. Well, we'll think about the tech side of it because I'm I'm already thinking about getting all the Discord stuff up. Might be kind of a pain. Boys, I'll be on right my back. computer, you know. Mm -hmm, Sounds good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's see here. Yeah. And should I, I mean, should I try restarting my internet really quick? Yeah, we can see that. I need to go to the restroom also. Yeah. Let me make sure with Paula. This game does look good, though. It's a really damn good remaster. And the rest of them just you know, look even better. Cool. What are we doing? Here's the thing that everyone that makes video games is just way smarter than us. Mm -hmm. Way smart. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Good for them. Live your life, people. Oh, nice, no way, also. Yeah, it's freaking good. It looked fast. Well, I, I always this think song. this uh, this game had the um, in other news, the rover. Corp is still denying reports that one of their it does. Teams has oh, it still does. Okay. The you just haven't gone there yet. No. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment.
I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Mm, this isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? <laughs> Just right on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm mad about this. <laughs> He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Novaria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Novaria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this. The Reapers are basically the White Walkers in this. Mm -hmm. But if they do exist... The conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Oh. Her name's Liara, Dr. Waifu. Liara to Sony. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig uh, on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Oh, I like this music. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity. You can still, like, give me your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> still I could use some like, care, like some advice. Like, you guys have a lot of experience. Like, <laughs> we just talk this out. Like, help me out with it. Andy, I am I'll ready to restart the internet. You take care of the political fallout. Okay. Not exactly the answer I was looking for. I have a meeting. We'll just finish this conversation. Captain Anderson can mm -hmm. answer any questions you might have. All right, that was it. I'm gonna hit it. We're now. gonna restart the internet chat. BRB. We'll be back. All right, I've hit the restart. I will be disconnecting. I'm sure momentarily. Keep and then talking I'm... for the YouTube kids because we're gonna keep rolling. You know what I mean, guys? Up oh, there to go as it happened. Andy was about to respond, but he didn't get the chance. Hey, YouTube people, you're the only people that are gonna see this. This is our secret. Made some uh, curry yesterday, but I use those curry packets. That it's it's like a it almost looks like a big old chocolate bar. And you crunch it, cut it, cut it up, and throw it in the water, and it boils, and it turns into. I think it's like Japanese curry. It's very good. But I had all the ingredients yesterday, and I was putting it together, and I was making this giant thing, and then I realized I ran out of curry packets. So at eleven thirty, I know I shouldn't be cooking so late, but it just I, the day got away from me. I went back in there, got the curry packet, or went to Safeway, got the curry packet, all set. Uh, it looks like we're back. It's just oh, yeah? sitting there silent. I'm here. He's sitting there totally silent. No, oh, I'm talking to you, and I know you can hear me. Are you ready to rock and roll? Like, are we going to stitch this together? Are oh, we I live? Cut. I didn't cut. I, was t I told the oh, kids okay. an anecdotal story from uh, Oh, snap. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back. How y'all doing? It's so great to have you. We have now restarted, so you can get that refresh button. And I can tell you really quick all about Prime Day and, of course, how you can claim up to 30 free titles right now thanks to our friends over at prime gaming throughout this sponsored stream of course we've been showing you off mass effect legendary edition andy cortez has taken myself and nick through our first experience with this classic incredible video game and guess what you can now get that legendary edition totally for free on prime day right now thanks to prime gaming of course if you type in exclamation point prime day Anytime throughout the stream that will take you to an awesome link where you can claim up to 30 free video game titles from indie titles all the way up to the big AAA games that you love like Need for Speed Heat, Star Wars Republic Commando. Y'all remember how good that game is? You should go play that game because I absolutely love it. And of course, Mass Effect Legendary Edition and so much more. So please go take advantage of Prime Day, all right? I don't care if you're going for Prime Gaming or getting the 30 free games. Or if you're on Amazon Prime and going out and buying some things for Prime Day, go out there, click the link, go have some fun. Right now, by my count, we have about 37 minutes left on the stream. So we have some fun here to do. But please, make sure to use that link. 
click on that and go have some fun. Yes, Commander. Was that live? Was that live and like in action, Kevin? How are you holding? Yeah. It? I mean, okay, because I, I, I just so. didn't know if the chat was talking to me or not. You know what I mean? The chat, chat didn't talk to me. Everyone yeah. throw the number four thousand two hundred and fifty-eight. If you're seeing this, mm -hmm. 4,258, please throw that in the chat if you're seeing 4,258. People are in That's there. Right. People are in there. Yeah, yeah. Look at them. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> somebody type in it. exclamation point prime day right now. Type in exclamation point prime day. Who here has actually in the Twitch chat right now? Have y'all claimed your 30 free games like truly and honestly? Have you I, uh, gone into this and claimed your type claimed your games? Because sure. it's just a click of a button. Mike, I really hope I you have. Read. I did it like an hour ago. Kevin, I've gone uh -huh. through there. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2. Okay, Jedi Outcast. Je Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. All you have to do is click the button. Mm -hmm. Get the free games, people. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the I like ship. having free games. Yeah, the captain got screwed. And just knowing they're there like in my library. Nobody's blaming oh. you. You know? Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. Got anything oh. to say to the crew? Now's the time. Give this him something. A, Give him something. This is a high moment, right? Yeah, here, tell dude. him we're doing our th do it in my way. Let's we're doing things short. my way, fool. Where's Nick? He's sitting down. He's coming in right oh. now. Actually, I don't know what the better answer is. Now we do things my way or the highway. If you're caught sleeping. In the mm -hmm. back, you're getting tossed out in this <laughs> oh space. God. Okay, if, if I problem, see you look at me funny, I, smacking you upside the head. Okay, drinking I, problem, Kevin, thrown out the ship. I wonder ship. if I wonder how the speeches differ though, because the top answer is like dope, and it's hype, and it's like cool as hell. You know, I don't know how drastically awesome. they change. Oh, good. If only one way to find out. Give it a click, baby. I want you to click, lay down the law it. right now. <laughs> lay down the law, Andy Cortez. Lay down the know. law. Remember? Up, Remember? Andy. This is your commander speaking. The law. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The oh, you have to put them to together. This. That's no surprise. They've never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Yep, we're off on our own. Goes, we'll follow. Hey, Wherever the he searches guy? for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. <laughs> we will ass. stop Sarah, no matter what the cost. Who's that person? Well said, Commander. Is that Ashley? Captain will be proud. He doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be an Aztec Commander. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, so he don't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, sir. Hell oh, yeah, dude. They just needed he. Oh, Kirahi's speech is so good, too, Creed. Did you pick your points yet? Do you pick your points yet for a Renegade or the other thing? Um, I haven't really. No, I have 10 points, actually. <laughs> Holy shit. I can go put put them all into Intimidate. As max as we could go. Max it out. And then let's do a bunch of assassination or a bunch of headshots on sniper rifle. Let's do throw. Throw is still the funniest looking one. I like throw. It's fun. Spectre training. What does throw do? Throws the force. Throw someone. <laughs> like once it gets more and more powerful, the bodies just fly like crazy. It's really dope. Um, let's remove one from Sniper Alpha's and go into Spectre Training. Oh, you can remap? Yeah. Mm, cool. Oh, I saw some points, right? I have two points. Two points. There we go. Do we have any better weapons? Do we have better weapons? Wow, really? I didn't really pick up much on my journey. You're too busy slapping people. <laughs> <laughs> slap! Well, you slap that guy back into reality. <laughs> Save that man. I sent him back into the 19th century. <laughs> <laughs> I 
If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about Nobody likes a kiss ass, bro. Ship, I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non humans on this. And let him know. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Oh, sir. oh, wow. Okay. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. I love that, like, Commander Shepard is going to be. He's just always going to go against the norm. Space, Space Mike Shepard, like, could be like, look. Humans are the only race that matters. Everything else is the worst. And they'll gotcha. be like, and this guy will be like, uh, well, I don't know about having like non humans on the ship. He's like, look, man, I do whatever I want. <laughs> like, these guys are cool. invaluable asset. <laughs> He's like, you're just always. <laughs> Keep them on their toes, dude. Who don't want? I love that slow walk up. It's so awkward. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without Kaden. We were on the scene faster than any All right, goodbye, Kaden. Don't really Kaden, care much about up, you, Big Ben. Shut up, Kaden. Face, don't really Ellen. care much Here's about you, Here's your face. Kaden, go Dr. swab Chalk the deck. <laughs> yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this can we, mission. Yeah, first off, Doc, can we get the lights service. on? Yeah, why is it dark? Come on now, you're sitting in the darkness. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy. I love the lore here with Caden, though. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implies. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical oh. pain. Oh. Okay. A long list of her. <laughs> <That's laughs> <weird. Yeah>, what, Nick? <laughs> Nick, Nick, <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick read that out loud. So I'll okay cater that one. <laughs> Just, you know what I mean? What are the complications? Everything hey. wrong that could possibly go wrong that's terrifying. Well, he only gets migraines, so. Oh, cool, okay. Do I want to? Oh, I can go downstairs and talk to Tally. See what Tally is up to. Talia Al Ghul. Mm hmm. I want to see your quarters too. Don't you have a cool quarter? Oh, I do. Yeah, haven't cool. been there yet. Show Mike the den, the den of sin. <laughs> Show me your den. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSAC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are you get into clubs there. and bars easier. You, you just flash. You, you just flash the Spectre status. You know, you're just freaking it's in. So true. It's like you don't so have Spectre's to call for just, Mike. Spectre is just basically a double O status, right? You just do whatever the most you want. The basically, yeah. Maybe. But sometimes it feels oh, like the rules oh. are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants Let's it do done it. their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got red tape. more and more red tape. So much red tape. handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short yeah, to see around. And without c oh, oh. headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the Just give him past the more, change. you know, the oh, lines okay. that are just you're, there you're for... Through. There's you're some through. lines that are okay, just there for okay. some dressing, Mike. You know, a little sweet in your lines. That dressing. Thank you, Commander. Let's talk to Rick. The Shepard. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no yeah, there story. is, and it's awesome. What's your story, Rex? Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. That's unfortunate. You know, they almost did the same to us. <laughs> Ooh. Bummer. <laughs> Talk, about that, yeah. Talk about Mondays, huh? Kind of... <laughs> <laughs> it seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? 
And I suppose it's destroying your entire I see species. your point. <laughs> hey, so what? That, I suppose that's it deep. Is that's deep, tell him. I don't expect like you to understand, problem. but don't Cry me a river. humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Got a lot I, going on. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. You see, the thing with the Krogan, Mike... The genophage infected us, but it's not... They it are... Uh, they are warmongers. They just love fighting. And so they were infected with this thing to, like, stop them from taking over the galaxy, Slow pretty much. down, yeah. Like the Klingon. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Solarians if you want details. Morden Solus, Mike? He's a Solarian. Yeah, he did that. He did that to him. All I know, it makes breeding. Yeah, they breed like possible. rabbits, yeah. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. All right, later, Rex. <laughs> See you, homie. <laughs> later, brother. Be well. Be well. Commander? <laughs> Do you have a few minutes to talk? Now? I'm sorry, Commander. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion? Oh, she big time in you like that. She just big times you. I just wish... I'm they dwelling on it, then. Live. That happens in this Yes, job. Commander. Believe me, I understand that. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been then cut be alert. in ambush. The answer seems to <laughs> up to me. Some more alert. Just click the head, you know. Aye, aye, yeah. I'll make sure it doesn't click happen it. again, sir. Yeah, there's a couple moments later where like she wants to flirt, after, and then she says some really terrible stuff. That's like, oh my god. <laughs> the type of like, when you have someone that says something like super non PC, and you look around, you're like, Jesus, why? Why would you say that? <laughs> wow, what the hell's the matter with you? You were serious about that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, we talk to Tali and then we go peace out. I have to talk to everybody. My favorite thing is just catching up with the crew. Yeah, man. I love He's whenever I find. Like... I love when I get back and there's more conversations. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. You know what, Andy? That's good. That's your good commander you because your your crew has lives, and it's fun to take an interest sometimes. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Lion's vessels were so advanced. Like every once in a while I say, Mike, what are the pugs doing? And he goes, same thing they always Norman do. And they're just laying over in the corner. Edge <laughs> doing this. a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. What's underneath that mask? I need to know. Because I can see the eyes and the nose. I she, can see it. She, she kind of just looks like Look a, like a human? A human, yeah. Like she's kind of like a blue, purplish looking human. Not like the Not the Asari. Not like the Asari, but okay. um, yeah. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. Yeah, you can Google it. Yeah, it, it's it's there. It's out there. Hey Googie! Hey Googie! <laughs> hey Googie! <laughs> But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger well, vessels like date all the way back white. to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. Oh, she looks They're super dope. I'm sure there's a bunch of fan art, though, but yeah. she looks super dope. Pretty, but they work, mostly. Why does she have to wear this? She, she can't breathe this atmosphere? Is that why? The mm -hmm. Like their skin can't make contact with the outside. Makes sense. That checks out. But some oh, they look mega dope. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires the really? materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting into we're getting into territory here, everyone. A lot of purple origins, hearts around all this stuff. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. 
Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks. Flutes you close to the sun. Them closer and closer to true the story AI of my life, status. man. Blade they told Runner. the Geth, like, ah, oh, maybe you could do, like, some couple smarter tasks. And they're like, all right, well, now we're fully, now we're fully aware. And we don't like, yeah, we sentient beings. We now we don't like being held captive. This is why we can never tell yeah, Mikey's a robot. Blow up in your face. Oh, ah, then I freak out. <laughs> wow. You guys made me in a lab. <laughs> Weird we science with them. Mike. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A That's so cool. Thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. Hmm. So the Geth share. Spoilers for later on, chat, but. That's why the Geth are like, we are legion. Were designed to work in so concert cool. with other nearby cool. Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the it's like a hive man, just like, just like Venom. Exactly. So there's some sort of group a lot of nothing like that. Uh, they cannot not share how Venom. 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 They want to know what hit him. Freeing up more capacity for original. What made All right, that's enough. That's enough, Tom. What did you right, do? Bye. That's, that's enough. That's enough. All right, and you're talking. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. You're talking. To me. Hey, Commander. You know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Is she bothering you? She's, she's useful. Got a real knack for technology. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent. Like, really? Because she said you didn't want her to be a part of this team. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you turning your tune right now? <laughs> yeah, bro. We heard things. We all talk. You know, we all talk down here. <laughs> we got nothing else to do. There's no windows in this place. Ah, uh, you heard that? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Good call. Damn. Good call. My bad, bro. <laughs> I didn't know you knew. <laughs> What's this yellow X? I still don't know. There's like an orange X on the radar. I don't know if it Go look at it, dude. Shepherd. Means that I can keep talking to people. We're sure we're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying here. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. So long, Rex. How Shepherd. cool, Rex. How Shepherd. cool. Look, I can buy stuff. What, every, from you. what everyone on the crew is thinking, Rex. Kind of a bummer. You know? Yeah. Kind of, kind oh, you you think lot. he's like that? You think he's like pulling everything down? He's got a reason to be, though. You yeah. know? Rex, he tell me some cool stories about your past. All of everyone I know is dead. All right, Rex, you know people. what? <laughs> I wanted like a cool, like you hung out with John Stamos one time. You know, that's the cool story that I wanted. Mm. FYI. I'm trying to, oh, I just went into a circle. I'm trying to get back, get to my Should quarters. Where the hell are my quarters at? Gotta be upstairs, right? Where are quarters at? Captain's office. To the right. Supplemental. No, that's, that's uh, Anderson though. Isn't that you're Anderson. Aren't you Anderson now? Oh, you're Aren't right. You captain? No, but like this is in my bedroom though. Oh, that's just the that's the office. I have like a bedroom. I have I have a it's I have a, bed a right pimp there. shed. Like a bedroom right there. This is your bedroom. No, 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 no. I have like a, a full on bedroom. You got a pimp shed? Yeah, I do, a pimp shed. That's <laughs> a pimp shed. It's a shed where I just pimp in. <laughs> I'm pimping left and right. Get in there, everything's just everything's just cozy in the pimp shed. It's like fur is a lot of fur. Oh, I'm thinking of only ME2. Oh, damn, you're right. Damn. Too far ahead. We're not that there yet. That wasn't ME2. I could have sworn I had had like a a pimp shed in this room. In this, uh, I guess it makes sense that in ME2 spoilers, you get a new ship, and he's like, first things first, <laughs> give me a, give me a pimp shed. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, sir, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with. Jesus. I'm not sure if I'm familiar with that uh, particular term, pimp shed. Could you, there's like a Google search you could provide? You know what I want. Give me a pimp shed. Okay, sir. No problem. I'm not going to argue with that. The man asked twice. Even the Citadel. God, controlling it is, is so confusing. It's escape to zoom out. Even wow. though you would think that escaping leaves you, gets you out of this whole menu completely. <laughs> We want to go to the dig site. 
screw everything else. We want to get Liara first, baby. Yeah, Liara. Sparta. No, I forget which one it is. Light speed, Mike. Light speed. Gone. Mass Effect Relay right there. That relay. Ooh. Oh, see, this is where we can still do our planet stuff. It's can not you? ME2 uh, quite, um, you know, planet scanning, but we can still find some stuff. I love scanning one. planets, man. I, I like out. that. Man, up that signal. was fun. This is the distress signal. Dadalorian, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub for the first time. Thanks for using that Prime Gaming sub. And don't forget, right now, with the power of Prime Gaming, you can claim up to 30 free games right now for Prime Day. If you got Amazon Prime, you got Prime Gaming. You also get a free sub here on Twitch, just like the Dadalorian. You can subscribe for free, get no ads to have to watch, and hang out with me, Nick, Andy, and Kevin. The conversation for Liara is pretty funny if you do her mission last. Really? I would always go for her first. Man, this track is nasty. Hell yeah. Oh, look at him just drop the Mako. Come on. That seems like that's, there's gotta be an easier way to do that. Nah, that's the only way. It's the only way, man. Right it's right the now. only way, bro. Really the only way. It's like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. I had to fix the settings on the car stuff because, like, it had it starts off to where the camera is what dictates where you go, but it's like, no, nah, I want to be going straight and shooting sideways, you know? Yeah, gotta oh, be I able to do that. that. Gotta be able to do that. So does this control more like Halo, like a Warthog? Yeah. Yeah. When we played that game, Nick? Every moment of it, Mike. Never played it again, that's right. Nope. Every moment. Oh, can you go in the lava? What happens if you go in the lava? It's probably not healthy. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope we like, see some it, space worms. Probably has some negative <laughs> effects. A couple of things like on the yeah. rubber of your tires. You they got dune worms on this? Dune planet? worms. Yeah, I believe they do. They actually do, yeah. Send it. I mean, not on this planet, I don't think, but like other planets, there's a lot of. Uh oh. There's a lot of other planets you go to like just survey and it's like, oh, Dune, Dune Worm. You think these guys are friendly? Nope. No. No, these are Geth. I mean, Andy did shoot first though. He shot them. These are Geth. Do those other aliens feel bad? Other Where's aliens? The Geth? The ones that made the get, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, the Quarians feel terrible, yeah. Oh, really? Because the Quarians are basically on the run, bro. Like, they they don't really even feel safe anymore. Only a fool punches a map I'm definitely mouth. exaggerating there, but... Oh, God. This is the part where, like, the keyboard mouse just feels real good. We, we just we just freaking turret. auto aim on these freaks. Expensive turret, buddy. Oh, freaking leash, dude. Woo! Man, he's popping off. But those Andy, you need a Mako in real life. You should be ripping around the streets of San Francisco getting oh, coffee in this Mako, thing. Bro. Oh my god, I'd love to. Rip. Just do this every once in a while. <laughs> oh, who That's shot? Fun. Oh, you. Popping bottles in the club. Do you think they really need those middle two tires? Let's be honest. Probably not. How did I get off the ship? I forgot how. Take off? Sure, yeah. Is it F? Is it... Sh no, that's, that's oh, boost. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Hello oh, now. Hello. I get off the ship. Knock, knock. Guess who's here? It's definitely Never. not tab, because whenever I open up tab, it brings up the console commands. If you see that little bar at the bottom yeah. <laughs> where you type in like 
god mode and all that, <laughs> like the developer commands. Okay, no middle mouse, no. Uh, you, no. Oh, I have points I can spend. Oh my god, Garrus. And those points, bro. Get, 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 get him kitted out, man. What are you gonna pump him up with? What you gonna pump him up with? Tactical armor. Yeah. You gotta have Rex be the attack guy. I mean, no, bro, no. Rex is the shoddy guy. Because here's the thing. Once I get Liara, I replace Rex with Liara. Really? And I have Li Liara as like my biotic god. Like she's the one who's doing all biotic powers, you know. But every once in a while, if I feel like I need um, Rex for close quarter stuff, I'll have him in certain missions. That's pretty cool. Gosh, look at all these points you got, bro. Yeah, You're I had dumping. so freaking many, dude. Oh, and I love... I love the electronic stuff, because whenever there's, like, mechanical stuff coming at you, like the Geth, yeah. you could just, like, hack them, and they freaking, like, spark up and stuff. He's definitely the tech guy, this guy. That's cool. War Monocle. Barrier, Krogan Battlemaster. We need, we need to get Rex to shoddy status. Shoddy! Cause he he's just like a he's a machines expert. There we go. Shot he's unlocked. All right, now how do I get the hell out of the ship? I don't remember. <laughs> You're never gonna be able to get out of this ship. I don't remember. Let's see here. Exit vehicle's Q, because of course it is. Yeah, that makes oh. sense. I mean, Andy, you did these keybinds. This is no, I didn't do Q. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> okay. Oh! Miss, there's a little whiff. And, and maybe we don't go with the uh, eight times scope on that one. We'll do the <laughs> close quarter stuff, huh? A little bit of a whiff right there. It's all good. Boop, 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 boop. Look at how good you are at that. Hacking master. You're really good. Who else is shooting? And how, where are they? Oh, shooting? The hacky oh there we go. Hack the planet. We open the door. We open the gate. Why are they? Why were your two homies faced at the wall? Oh, because there's other people on the other side. <laughs> oh, they just they can see him. Yeah. They've got x-ray goggles, you know. Oh, God. Don't shoot me. Oh. Pop goes the weasel. We don't say that enough. Did we need to in the first place? <laughs> Watch this. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> See that? that I'm not cool. against it, actually. Like, boom goes the dynamite. You know what Is I that mean? What it was? Get, that it, was... get it into your repertoire. Boom goes the dynamite. And boom goes gonna, the dynamite. I'm going to add uh, devious into my word of the week. Devious? Devious. Container in front of you. This guy's got a shield. Eat it! Devious? Devious. With a V. Devious, devious guy. Or should we get a little dubious? <laughs> dubious is also great. Different word, though. Yeah, different word, though. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. thing, like they're not interchangeable. <laughs> Still a great word. Don't let him dissuade you, Mike. You're doing God's work. I like that. I like that. Look, Robo Borealis is already using it. Robo Borealis is already in. Uh oh. But chat, we have eight minutes left on this stream. Don't forget, today was a fun sponsored stream with our friends over at Prime Gaming. Today is Prime Day. Today and tomorrow, you can freeload up to 30 free games. You can claim right now here on Prime Day. Thanks to Prime Gaming. Have an exclamation point Prime Day anytime throughout the stream. Or if you're watching over on YouTube, click that link in the description and you can claim your 30 free games, indie games, all the way up to AAA titles like Need for Speed Heat, Star Wars Republic Commando, and Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Claim those games, y'all. Just whiffing on these shots. Uh-oh, more baddies. They think they can slow me down, are you kidding me? Look at the tracking on this, by the way, Kevin. Just look at the mouse tracking. Watch this tracking. You see that? You can't teach that. You have it or you don't. Oh, shit. 
Did you do that? <laughs> 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 you pay a little attention to the driving, but... Dude, boom man. goes the dynamite, Andy. Boom goes the dynamite. Boom goes the dynamite. You have it or you don't. <laughs> oh! Look at these idiot little sh soldiers, little tiny ones. Oh, that's a bigger one. The Colossus are bigger. I keep whipping on the right click. It's real bad on my part. All right, get out of the overheat status. All right. Yeah, you keep putting that right click right over his left shoulder. <laughs> you got him. You got him. Are you sure? I, I kind of wanted to take out the right arm, you know? Yeah, I guess you. I get you. It's like, ah, you know? Piece by piece. Oh. Oh, 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 just oh, park oh, that anywhere. Oh. Lock it in. <laughs> Boo! Oh, I missed. <laughs> I think there's secrets over here. I think there's like a a little bit of an item or something, maybe. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I might be totally wrong. You know, might be totally wrong. I think they patched it out actually, Mike. You know? No, yeah, they must have. It was too easy yeah. to get. Yeah, they didn't want you to have that game. level 15 sniper rifle. Mm-hmm. Get in the Mako. Like, Get in the like Chameko can barely fit these three dudes. It's a snug fit in there. You think it's tight in there? With Rex, you can only really have two. You yeah. Know. Okay. All right. With a direct oh, hit. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. We call him Jimmy Rocket. Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy, tell me about the rockets! <laughs> tell me about the rockets! Boom! Oh, wow! They do fly really funny. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's awesome. He just evaporated that poor guy. He was just doing his job, man. He was like, I need this job. I just gotta watch this gate. I hope no uh -oh. Mako comes over here and just particularly <laughs> me. <laughs> Mako? He knew it. Yeah, I saw someone in the chat saying it. Also, it looks like a Mako shark. Pretty I always cool. forget that I could, like, switch to... Wait, can I? Yeah, I can. It's so interesting. I don't remember... Is, wasn't there a wheel in Mass Effect 2 instead of all this? Um... They switched over to, like, a... Like a no, it wheel. used to... Yeah, it has the... Uh, I, I think that they fixed the UI and, like... Updated it, modernized it. Just whiff right, real quick right there. A little whiff right there. Oh, don't mind. oh my. Andy, oh maybe my. Don't maybe mind. maybe hit him with the force push. Yeah, there we go. Or oh, he put the shield up. That is clutch, dude. Hey, can you all do something? Where's my team? They were right behind you. What's I don't even think Garrus wanted to come out of the ship. He's still in there. Be the heal. Yeah, I don't know if Garrus is with me, bro. <laughs> yeah, Garrus. <laughs> Garrus is not with me. You're right, there. Mike. Where the hell are you? I forget what happens if they go down. Do you lose them, or can you bring them back? Um, they come back, like right when the mission, right when you've kind of cleared everybody. Cleared it out. Okay. Garrus, homie. Get out of the car, Garrus. Maybe he can't get what out. What you doing, bro? Perfect. Oh, he's oh, in the he's wheel, bro. He's stuck in the wheel. In there. Remember to stay hydrated, he tells me. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? Let me get, let me. Let's. You ready, Garrus? You ready to follow, Big Dong? There we go. There we go, baby. Garrus is like, you never know if somebody's gonna try to carjack her. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna hide between these two wheels like a cat. I left, I left my wallet in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired way too fast. I need to up my stam. Get up That's that not even stam. a thing. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Watch out. Oh my god, dude has a rocket launcher. Oh! Oh, sniper! Oh, dude, the sniper hit me real good. Oh, big shot. Just a bunch of crits, baby. Who's left? Oh, that's it. Wait. Oh, no, there's a couple more. Good job, Andy. And I want to throw them force power. Force throw. Hold on. Let me get real close so we can see the effect. Go. See ya! <laughs> it's the funnest power, dude. There's no funner power. Oh, maybe we can get Garrus to electronics this dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh! oh that, was cool. that was cool. So sick. Oh! You could also set all those to hotkeys. You don't have to, like, slow down the and, like, pause and go to this menu. I kind of like that you can do that, though. Up. It reminds you of, like, you playing Dragon Age. Mm. Switch into this menu and kind of, like, all right, I'm the commander here. You know, it's good to go. I always thought that was cool. That was kind of like unique to the game when I played Mass Effect 2. I was like, oh, cool. you can kind of move your people around and be a little more strategic with them. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's no good. That thing's not good. What's he doing in that wall? Mike didn't look too concerned there. No, no. He's seen, he's seen it before. You got oh, this concerned really about this thing. This fight was pretty tough, I remember. Uh-oh, kind of funny best friends. And guess what? That's when we're going to end this right here. We'll be back for an awesome big moment tomorrow with more Prime Gaming Prime Day fun where we'll be playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition with all of you. Don't forget, you can type next point Prime Day, or you can click on the link in the video description over on YouTube right now to claim up to 30 free games thanks to Prime Gaming. We'll be back with more Mass Effect tomorrow. Don't miss out on the fun. Peace, everybody.